So, Rocky, you are looking in the fridge right now, and as you're looking in the fridge, you smell jasmine incense lingering all around you, and the smell of apples coming from within the uh, freezer as a cold breeze washes over you as you shut the door of your uh, Ron Sluckian home fridge. Behind you, you hear the cackling of Moran, Kano, Taya, and Randall. As you have made a hilarious joke. How do you feel when you make a good joke, Rocky? Uh, I just feel... <clears throat> you know, I feel a lot stronger, I think. I think my confidence has been uh, thoroughly boosted. Wonderful. Very that, pleasurable. You feel my AC <laughs> has gone up tr thrice fold. That feeling feels... <laughs> That feeling fills you from head to toe. As just behind you, you can see your friends. Oh, you can hear your friends laughing at, at this joke. You 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 feel weird because you don't remember the joke he said, but you can just hear them just having a grand time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, uh, 
Yeah. Y'all know what I, why did I come to the fridge for? Y'all remember? I kind of, my mind's a little blanking. <laughs> uh, I wanted a cake or something. Cake or something. I don't know if I keep that in the fridge. I don't think we have any. Uh, do we have a cake? Can I do a, you know, look again? Yeah. I'll, I'll look for a cake. Mm hmm. There is a cake in there. Oh. What is your favorite cake, Rocky? Uh, red velvet. There is a red velvet cake that's been half eaten. It's a yeah. circle. Yeah. It's very plain looking. It's just a circle, a little cake. Not not the biggest, not the smallest. There's probably enough servings for all four of uh, all five of you. Sorry. Awesome. Uh, can I grab it? Can I take it to the table or of something? Of course you can. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> so. Sorry, I didn't mean to yes. sit on you. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, yeah, there's no seats. Uh, <laughs> As you look around, yeah, your I, friends. Sorry, place the cake down. Sorry, I'm just uh, for those that don't know who Rocky is. This is Rocky because we've been away for a uh, for a month and a half or more. Uh, but yeah, Rocky, you um, you look around at your friends. You look at Kana, M Moran, Randall, and when you look at Taya, you notice something's off about her. You notice she's got her mask on right now. And she goes to take, hmm. as she goes to take it off, you notice that like she has no lips, and as she pulls the mask off her face and just puts it to the side, you notice she has no, no facial features whatsoever. It's just a blank canvas of her face, just staring. Well, not staring at you, but just looking in your general direction. You you, you feel a little ill or something? Uh, <laughs> you you okay? They just look. I feel at fine. You. Randall, do you know? Do you know what's going on, Randall? <laughs> I uh. I have no idea what I'm seeing right now, if I'm being honest. The right. joke you made has definitely subsided from my mind. Yeah, I don't even how I really know it that well. I, I, you know, off the dome type of thing that, you know, kind of just fleets as soon as it's here kind of kind of moment. Um, uh, what, how does how does Rocky like does this feel? Does this feel like real life to Rocky? It. Give me a second. So like you can as like your. Just taking in the moment. You can you, you feel the stone floor underneath you. You know you're in your childhood home. You know you recognize everything around you, but as like obviously there is that strange feeling just to, uh, yeah. watching over you. You You can Guys. assume something is off right now. Uh, Alright, when do we when do we go when do we go back to Ron, Ron Slock? I, I I don't really remember traveling here. It just feels weird, and I, I don't my my parents around or my mom, dad. Yes, Rocky. You hear uh, your mom's voice coming from. Give me a second as I get over to uh, coming from this card over here, just around the corner. Ma, you mom, know she's you, in uh, the practice oh, room right now. Okay, okay. Uh, um, uh, uh, anybody else concerned about Taya? What do you mean? I, I, her her, her face, you know, it's kind of missing. I, I just kind of like turn Rocky away from, from Taya and I'm like, let's just acknowledge the friends we have that are here that don't look like that then, shall we? Have face? That feels a little rude. That feels a little off. Uh, to just Maybe be like, the, you don't have a face, we'll fix it not going to acknowledge you. Uh, 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 hey, Rocky. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Moran's just smiling at you very normally. Uh, still a little, like, maybe misty-eyed from laughing too hard at the joke you just told. And she hands you a plate with a slice of the cake on it and says, uh, uh, You could take a slice to your mom. She's been in yeah, there for a while. Take a slice to my mom. Um, for sure, I mean... I'll grab, I'll grab, uh, um, okay, uh, I'll, I'll be back, I suppose. Oh, hey, um, thanks for having us over. Yeah, any time, I guess, I feel, I, I, t thanks for making the, the trek, it's not, it's not an easy trip, uh. Yeah, I mean, it's been a long while, right? Been a long while, what do you mean long while, like, been, I mean, it's, just out a, it's just been a bit to, since we visited. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that y'all visited before. Uh, interesting. I'll be back. Rocket's gonna start kind of meandering towards where mm -hmm. the practice room is. Is that as this you, room over here? That is. As you go in that general direction, yeah. you hear Moran's, Kano's, and Randall's voice echo back at you. 
And as you just go around the corner and turn to look at them once more, you see that they've all turned to gold, including Taya as well. And then they just turn oh. into sand. And one by one... <laughs> are gone. I, I, I kind of want to grab... I, I, I scoop up the sand a little bit. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I don't know. Mom? My mom. <laughs> yes, Rocky. I've, I've, Are your I've friends okay? Can't... No. You hear a mom. behind the door. Mom. I, I try to open it. The door is won't budge. As oh. uh, mom, can you, can you come out here, mom? Yeah, just give me a minute. I'm just sorting some stuff, some stuff out. Uh, uh, emergency. Uh, kind of. I need to like my my friends are sand. <laughs> um. I run back to my friend. Sir, just make it quick. I, I place the, the, the plate of cake down. Mm-hmm. Oh, have you been time. holding the cake the entire time? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you just uh, have the, I, the sand is just gold uh, and just glittering on the ground uh, where they were. And, um... I, sorry, go on. Uh, I have just... Uh, Brock is just confused. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, uh, While that, like, your mom is, like, um, she's, uh, so trying to she just said she's preparing the um the what's it called these practice rouge uh you do have the ur- well not the urge but you just you do feel like you can explore and if you wanted to you are more than welcome to look around the house okay i'm gonna go down this way mm-hmm. um the only way are these i'm gonna check these doors this one first over here yeah sure just give me a second okay i don't know if you can can you click the door Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can go in. As you see in this room, uh, the prayer room that your parents didn't use very often. It's, um, you knew they would come in here when, um, like in this little shrine room, like, uh, you could see Time, Shiki, Lo, Yuki, and Lucera all just finishing a prayer. As, um, as you get a memory, just wash over you. Um, where your parents are just in the, in the prayer room after a, a prayer of their own. Uh, talking about their home with you, sharing the life they had beforehand uh, when they were uh, here, uh, and you could hit, you you could see the happiness in, in their faces as they um, as they would tell you these stories about their past. Um, but you could, but like as like you recall the memory and think about it, you have this you you could tell there was sadness and just longing in their voice, and you feel that haunting you um, as you. Uh, as you as you, uh, as you see your friends, um, as time uh, and um, Shiki turn to you, you see Shiki's face isn't there. As um, as is uh, as Lucera's face also isn't there when she looks to you as well. Lo, um, Yuki's face and Lo's face are still still in uh, still still visible. Lo. Lo, do you know what's do you know what's going on? Oh, Ricky. Um, what do you mean? Well, you know, we're just kind of hanging out in my house, pr- praying. I guess it's a little, a little, a little weird. I mean, you know, get to pray and whatnot. And I'm glad y'all are here, but uh, y- it feels just a little odd that y'all uh, don't have faces. Some of you, at least, a little, a little new, new to me. Um, well, we, we came to visit, is, is all, um... Right, are, right. Are you okay? Appreciate Did... it. I've been better, I think. <laughs> uh, I, so, I, when did y'all get here? How long have y'all been here? When you ask, okay. when you ask that, you just feel like time doesn't move, and like you can see there's a window, and like it looks uh like it looks like that of the sunset. It's uh, pinks and oranges, um, and you just feel like it almost feels like they've just been placed here, like forever. If that makes sense, like you you have no real understanding how like time works here and like it just 
when you try to comprehend, it just gives you a headache. Right, okay. Um, um, well, it suddenly feels like we've been here for a while, but we had to visit you again. The last time we all got together was when Kano and Moran got married, after all. Moran got married. Right, that feels like that. I don't have a big memory of that happen. I'll be honest with you. Um... I just, it doesn't feel, was I, was I, uh, was I like a best man or something? Do you know? Do you remember? Um, yes. Like, are you sure you're okay, Rocky? Maybe we should get you a drink. Yeah, I'm just talking about, I, I'm on a sugar a... high. I had a, I had half a cake earlier. Uh, do you want to sit down? Sugar high. I think I'm good. I'm going to go, I, I need to go check on uh, my mom and also something in this room over here. I, I walk away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I go to this door. Question. Yeah. When the door shuts, do you look in the room one last time? Um, no, not yet. Not yet. No worries. I'll look in there later, but that door. Uh, if you could shut that door for me, please, because <laughs> I can't shut it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hey, more people. <laughs> As you it's like a party over here, huh? Stepping into the living room, you see Polly just at the desk looking at a bunch of cards. Pimera ruffling through a bunch of books. And in the corner, Satoshi playing with uh, Peaches. Peaches! Hey, 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 Satoshi, how are face intact? <laughs> <laughs> Their faces are intact. Uh, as Peaches awesome. just looks at you and just coos and gars and then does up your arms to you. Hi, little. I, I picked Peach up. <clears throat> Satoshi just smiles at you. Yeah, she, no, she, she really likes this place. It was, it was really nice of your parents uh, to let, let, you, let uh, her stay with you guys. Absolutely. I mean, it's really nice of my parents to have a whole lot of people here right now. Like throwing a whole whole parade, a party or something. Um, hey, Polly, how's it going? You remember me from the forest, I think? Uh, were you I, at the wedding? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, a, a wedding? I, I mean, I know you, right? Like we're friends, I guess. I guess your parents invited us here that's what i've been that's what i've been uh hearing about uh um do you want to play cards i think, I'm, I think good. I'm playing cards yeah alone i guess also at the mentioning of wedding pimera turns around pimera long time as you know she has no face oh this again hey uh uh, uh, I want to. Can I do some type of, I guess, an insight or or some type of check on the facelessness of it all? I'm gonna ask you what you like. What do you think of like the, the like as Rocky? What is like? What are your thoughts on the situation? Like, like when you see them without faces, how? Rocky doesn't like it. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't think Rocky is fully understanding if this is like a dream or if this is reality or stuff. He's kind of just floating by, but he definitely thinks the facelessness of it all is a little odd. Um, and he's kind of trying to figure that out. Um, that's his biggest concern right now. I mean, otherwise, I mean, he's still a little disoriented with the whole like mentioning of the wedding thing and kind of like his whole memories of it all are kind of not there fully mm -hmm. so he's he's just a little confused <coughs> as you all the, the, sorry go on. no i was gonna say but the face uh the lack of faces are kind of his number one concern at the yeah. moment as like you're just pondering and like trying to like just understand you can roll me an insight check if you would like um sure you hear your mom's voice again shout shouting Sick. from all through the corridors rocky time for sparring practice her voice I, I have stern and clear. Go. Sorry, go on. I have to go, guys. I'll play cards later with you, Polly. Go have fun, bestie. <laughs> Thanks, be bestie. <laughs> One second. I can't. Uh, no worries. Roll twenty does this weird thing where, like, I try to move my guy, and then it opens up the like the logos and stuff on it. No I'm gonna close that door. Um, I want to actually. Uh, am I still holding Peach? <laughs> <I don't... laughs> Satoshi would have taken Peaches before you left the room. Okay, I, 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 <laughs> not good to take a baby to sparring practice. Mom, can I, I'm gonna open the door. The I door open. is openable now. 
Oh, roll 20, please. As you step into a room with a raised stone platform with like a bunch of shelves and um, drawers oh. on like the walls and uh, a few weapons on display and a chest and two uh, sets of uh, samurai armor. Um, your parents' armors when they were here uh, during their um, during their young adult life before they moved to Ranslak. Um You can... You see, it's green, very vivid green splint. Roll for me. You do not need to roll anything for this. Um, oh. Their splints like make up horizontal padding with thick rubs tying uh, them down to the fabrics and uh, onto each other. And the helmets are adorned with these golden antlers. And you can just see they're just covered in sand. Um, and you hear your mom's voice again. Uh, grab your sword. Uh, just we're gonna go. We're gonna do one-handed fighting today. And when you're ready, strike first. As and I, like, when so you say one-handed, I can still use, like, two yeah. hands for the one. Yeah, no, yeah, like, she, she's also got, uh, two, uh, her okay. two katanas. Just one, hand. one sword. Okay. Yeah, actually, no, sorry, she's only got one sword, but you, uh, you're, you're gonna be, you're, you're welcome to do two-handed. You see her silhouette, she's also wearing the same armor, but when she turns, okay. you can see it's, uh, clean and lacquered, and is very well taken care of. And okay. I am going to, uh, get her sheet. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and do the two-handed attack. Go ahead. Should I use like just my regular katana? Yes, because you you do have melon slicer with you here. I didn't know if I'm attuned to it yet. You are still able to use it. Okay, well I use my other katana for now, mm -hmm. and I got a ten to hit, I guess. Ten to hit. Give me okay. a second. That misses. As yeah. As she turns, you see her just going to horse horse stance, and with her left hand very tightly gripped, or not tightly gripped, but it's like very just with a firm grip on her katana, and her uh, right hand loosely holding it, she uses it to like pivot her blade to catch yours, and she just swirls it around as she uses um, your movement to launch herself around you, oh. and her voice echoes and rings around you when she speaks to you, and you just hear her just say. What did you say? Give me a second. I'm just thinking. Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought you. That's just, right. I thought you yeah. like mic broke or something. <clears throat> yeah. No. Yeah. Like you know, and like as like um, as she just uh, swirls around you, like you know, like you can see the blades are dulled, um, and she just slaps you in the back of the leg uh, with the flat of it, and it creates a very harsh sting. Ah! Be as swift <laughs> and as mobile as the wind. Move at your pace and don't let the opponent think they have you trapped. And uh, you can move yes, if you want to. <laughs> All right. So I'm it's gonna like move. normal combat. Okay. So you're basically so fighting your mom turn. right now. Yep. Okay. Then I'm gonna, I kinda, I'm gonna move around here, I'm trying to go like a swift motion of like doing like a quick, uh, uh, turn around swing of my sword once again. Mm -hmm. Um, with a <laughs> no foot fifteen to hit. That doesn't hit. As she catches no. you once again. And then she just parries, she... swirls your blade around, and like kind of just pushes it off you and like. You can see when, like, in her horse, that she uses her legs a lot to, like, add to her, uh, the momentum of her uh, pushes. And, like, although her movements are very subtle and slight, you feel your body just get pushed by just, like, sudden force. There's the reason you're the master, Mom. <laughs> you, okay, yeah. you feel like she's smiling, and you can hear, like, the faintest of chuckles behind her, but you don't really get to see, you can't really see her face at all. Like, her elven features, her elf ears... Um, and just like anything that is skin is just come, like a shadow and her eyes are just this piercing yellow glow Just glint gotcha. at you. You can see this warmth behind her eyes though. There isn't like any like malice or fear Or um, or like anger or anything it is she's this is just her teaching you Remember Rocky you are a part of the ground you walk Do not budge at the force of your opponent You choose when you move All right <clears throat> Anything else? Um, I don't think there's much I can I, I want to do right now. I don't want to. I don't. I'm gonna move. Use more of my movement. Mm -hmm. Um, kind of step back a little bit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> she will get a tackle opportunity on you. Uh, okay. Uh, uh <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That that's fine. No I'll take it. Does a twenty-one hit? Uh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> as, as she pushes into you, 
dealing 13 slashing damage. Well, oh. it's, it, it, it hurts when she hits you. You know, it's, she's, she, this is what uh, she refers to as uh, the land form, uh, the landslide um, stance, where she uses those subtle movements and she just slides essentially pushing into you. And she, you, she, you feel her move with you. She follows you as like, it's almost as if she's pushed you away as you try to move away from her. And she pushes you even further into the corner. Okay. As she hits you, dealing 16, uh, 13 damage, sorry. Okay. And now it's her turn. Yep. And then she is going to just hit you again. Fair enough. 12 hit. Does it? I don't think it oh, does. Yeah, yeah. 12 does not hit, no. No worries. This, you catch her. As like she's pushing you into one, you, you, using bolty blade, you create like a little scissor to catch her. And you're able I only to just, have one sword, right? Oh, you only have one sword, sorry, my mistake. You're using, using your sword, you're able to kind of like just like swirl it around hers and like keep her, uh, keeping her back, causing a few sparks even to fly off your dull katanas. And she's gonna All end right. her turn there. And she, you can, you can hear a little smile behind her, um, like she, like the few grunts that she's making as she's, uh, as she's fine. You can, you can hear the smile behind it. Gotcha. Um, and my turn now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've kind of forgot that I had two attacks, so I'm gonna go ahead and do both of them. Yeah. Um, uh, for my first attack, so I'm gonna kind of like move her sword out of the way with my nat one. Good lord, <laughs> uh, I don't, do, <laughs> I don't do much. Um, <laughs> she just catches your hand and then just slaps yeah. your sword out of it. All right, and then with her like kind of distracted catching their hand, I'm gonna try to swing again. Wow, two, awesome. As she throws your sword down, she goes to duck and pick up your sword, completely evading the second one. And then you hear her just tut as she hands you back the uh, your sword. Okay, okay, okay. I got this, Mom. I got this. Uh, and then that's going to be the end of my turn. She is now going to... Using a moment movement, she's going to pull you out of the corner as she attacks you. If okay. she hits. Does 10 hit? No. No, you, nope. you stop her, but you can, if you want to, you can use your movement to, um, you can use her movement to move yourself out of the corner if you'd like to. Like, she's yeah, still I moving will... you with her blade, or she'll still try okay. to move you with her blade. I will kind of block her, and then, like, as I'm blocking her, kind of do that, like, we swirl around each other because I'm trying to get to the other side of her like this way mm -hmm. that's all right yeah as so you just swirl around you you just hear, hear her once again or uh, another teaching to you you may be the earth but the flow of water is just as important to you never let your stance be solid and predictable you are adaptable Rocky okay. whenever she says that I try to loosen up a little bit <laughs> as she like twists her sword around in, in her uh, in her loose hand and then brings it around and trying to slash you in the back or slash you as she turns herself around you. Okay. Does 13 hit? Yeah, it hit. It does. Yep. You take 12 uh, of the blunt damage as she uses that as well to push herself away from you instead of uh, pushing you and is able to get around here. Okay. It is now um, your turn and I can't turn her around. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, I'm gonna kind of do like a kind of like a quick like charge, ideally like a like a zigzag thing, you know, just for flavor. Kind of do like a zigzag charge towards her and then swing once again with my sword for the first time. Does a 23 hit? It does. Sure hope so, cause good lord, my rolls have been. That's a uh, 10 damage. 10 damage. Okay, and then for my second attack, I'll do that one more time, um, with my. Sword, uh, 13 hit, I don't think so. 13 doesn't hit. But with yeah. the 10, she just, ah, well done. Nice. Okay, and I, I also kind of want to use my accent surge right now. Go ahead. If that's all right. Yeah, of okay. course. Okay, and then that's just going to get me Was one there anywhere more... particular you're aiming? Uh, I, I will say I'm aiming, uh, first slice was kind of towards her legs, but I'm aiming more towards, uh, it's kind of like the side of her, towards where her armor is, just for the sake of not hurting her, mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, like, but, you know, um, kind of, I was aiming towards her legs first, and now I'm aiming a little bit higher up, towards, like, her shoulder area. Yeah. Like a slice down type motion. Uh, with the 27 to hit, I assume that hits. It does. Roll damage for me. 
Sure hope so. That is nine more damage. Also, hello everyone. Sorry, we, we decided to have a very hot opening to the session for reasons. Um, but welcome to session twenty-five of Throwing the Top Sands. But yeah, um, that's an extra nine that's like damage. A swing down motion towards the side of her. That hit. If you would like to, you can try to push her away, or you can try to shake her as well if you would like. Um, I don't. Okay, I don't want to necessarily push her, but I want to, like, as I'm, like, kind of holding my, my sword stance towards her, like, as I just swing, I want to just move this way, right here. Mm -hmm. If that's all right. Yeah, of course, yeah. If you're not uh, pushing her, noise, she's just going to, like, um, she is, put, like, kind of, like, just wobbled by the by the force of your hit. And well done. That was good. As. Do a finger gun. <laughs> as it is. Thank you, Thank you man. <laughs> she goes now to attack you, uh. If I find her sheet. And she's going to attack you twice as well. Ugh. Oh, oh ho -ho! no, not 20. No. The first one you're able to catch, but then she pushes you with her other hand. And then... Okay, not that bad. It could have been worse. Oh, I didn't yeah, do that. Yeah, I don't like it, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. Was you on 37, I think you were? Uh, yeah, I think so. Cool. Sorry about that. Okay. But yeah. As um, as she pushes you this time, you could you roll me a wisdom save? Wisdom save? Yes. And then she just nah. says to you, shake your target's resolve. You want them to quake under your strength. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Our rolls are not hot today, guys. <laughs> Five. You fail as you now can only do one action and do your normal movement on your turn. And she's okay. going to end her turn there. Okay. I, I'm a little disoriented, you know, it's, it's kind of like everything that happened today and finding my mom for the first mm -hmm. time in a while. I'm just a little shooken up, um, but that's not going to stop me from attacking at least once. I'm going to try to swing and ideally push her towards the wall, too. Go ahead. Uh, this is my... 22, 22 hits. Hit. It does. Okay, that is 14 damage. 14 damage. You're just pushing her straight into the back of the wall? Yeah, I want to push her toward, like, at the back of the wall. As and you kind of uh, hold her there, too, mm -hmm. like, with my sword. Yeah. As I you do. just, as she just, as her, as, as she smashes into her, her armor's very heavy. And so, like, she moves yeah. stupid fast in it. Like, you, you, you know, she's trained her entire life um, in, like, armor like this. She has, she is, like, what she was at her time, one of the most, like, terrifying fighters in the, in her village, in her home. And uh, one of the most, like, prized warriors in like her her platoon and such um so but so but yeah and like when she smashes into the wall you see the wall kind of cave in under under the force and the way uh, and you see that this here is like a painting of uh Shrey Leo that your parents did together it jostles a bit and you can see it's kind of it just like kind of the frame breaks a bit under the force and she turns to it do you do anything are, are, like anything else on your turn or do you just I don't think I can do anything else on my turn. Where does this? Uh, oh, yeah, you can't. You can only do your movement there. Yeah. Oh uh, wait. Um. Yeah, that's that's gonna be that's gonna be it. Mm -hmm. How do you react to damaging the painting? Um, I'm a little, I'm a little, little upset. I, I kind of just like uh, uh, wince a little bit, but I, I still keep my composure. Mm -hmm. As as you as you, you went and like you 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 show you show a bit of fear in, in that in that moment and just like kind of like just the wind and like you you know you you know you know what you've done isn't the highest thing and you can see with her free hand she goes up she she it, it doesn't move in a threatening manner she and she just goes to like kind of hold out your face it's okay don't worry it's fine we'll paint another one and then she comes back with her sword and then uh, tries to smack you on the back with it okay if I can find roll 20. I'm just going to hit you, try to hit you twice. Miss my first attack. It's on the second one. Yeah, on the first one, you, you catch her. Like, although, like, you um, you kind of are not thrown off, but you, you do, um, you are taken back when she, when she, when she gives you that bit of comfort for a second. 
but uh, so but you are able to catch her. Uh, but the second time she she does she gets you, and then you just hear her words once again. Be as ferocious and ever consuming as fire. You command every battle you are a part of, Rocky. Remember that. Yes, I as... am. Don't let these little things cloud you for a second. And as you take that nine damage, you, she um she doesn't push you back or anything, but like that one hurts a bit more than the others, and you kind of buckle. And she goes to catch okay. you. I'd like to. She's also just a bit taller than you. Um, mm. And she goes to catch, uh, and like her frame is like in the, especially in the armor. She like she's clearly very, she is very muscular, and is a muscular, athletic build. Uh, and in the armor, she's just terrifying to witness. Um, but as she as she holds you up uh, and pulls you back up uh, from the buckles. I I think I think that'll be enough for today. Um, you okay? What, what, did, yeah. I, did I hit you too hard at any time? Um. Maybe a little bit. No, no, no. Actually, no. I got, I got, I got skin of stone. You know, I'm good. I'm, um, I'm you, you shaking it off. You, know? you hear her smile, and she just gives. Uh, she takes off her helmet, and you can't. And like when she takes off, you can see the shadow of her hair, as like it's this long, um, tidy, straight, um, neat hair. But like, you can't, you can't, you can only get the silhouette of it. And she goes to kiss you on the head. Um, and you can't like you don't see any features, but you just you do feel her lips just kiss the little gemstone on uh, on your forehead. All right, you you get ready to, for bed. Um, we don't want you to miss your boat for tomorrow, do we? And uh, um, if you boat, yeah, yeah, you, you head into Shreyleo tomorrow. You do, you, you don't want to be late, do you? We got we got to catch the train early. Shreyleo tomorrow. I just sorry, yeah, I guess I just sorry. My memory's been out of whack today. It feels a little weird. I suppose that's okay. Go on, dust yourself up, clean up, and then we've got some medicine in the cabinets in the toilet, and uh, I head to bed. Okay, yes, ma'am. And I, uh, as walk towards where I guess my no, my room is. As you are about to leave, your yeah, your room will be upstairs. But before you leave, okay. you hear your mom's voice echo, as if it's the furthest thing away, like as if she's on the other side of the world, and like it's the faintest of echoes. Huh. Mom, you just hear her just say, "With every sting and hurt you you felt, this dream of sunset will come to an end. But you have the rest of the day to look forward to, and so much to give. Dream of dawn, my love. Be safe, Rocky. With every, As with every sting. Mm-hmm. You mean sunset? I can set, well, Yeah, you felt the dream of sunset. Let me send that to you. Um, but as she says that, you. You look at her, and you see her... Instead of... She doesn't turn to gold. But she just turns into sand and just falls to the ground. And you can see out the window, um, the sunset turns into um, a vivid dark purple-blue with bright twinkling stars. And look, the sky looks like it's been painted as like splashes of colours of pinks and blues just splash in the, in the, in the everywhere. Oh. And her voice just echoes... And um, and rings as you s- turn to your side to see this thing crawl out of one of the dusty um, pieces of armor. It looks like the night sky outs- itself as it just crawls out on all fours, uh, using it's like crawling, dragging itself forward. This Dad? <laughs> this skeletal, fe- uh, the skeletal monstrosity in this cloak of clouds and smoke made of the night sky with green crystals growing out of it and chains uh, this chains of the same green just all over its body um chained to its wrists and its ribs huh. and it just cr- it just looks at you and makes this rumbling a uh, growl that like uh, so you how do you react uh, uh hi I, I don't believe we met were you at kano kano moran's wedding by chance <laughs> they don't respond as they just keep making that strange rumbling yeah. that like it, it sounds like it's right in your ear and it like you feel the ground quake <laughs> when it makes that rumble noise and you see it just crawl its way towards your mother your mother's uh, the sand part that was your mother and you just see the chains jingle and uh sh- shake as the crystals kind of break off and like float and form in on themselves again and it just goes to pick up the sand that was your mother and put it into an hourglass 
Put into a what? An hourglass. Who, who, what are you? Who, who? What? And you just see what do you crawl into the painting of Shreleo. What is this? Hey, hey! I go up to the painting. Mm -hmm. I touch it. When you touch it, you see the island is normally in four, the four, the four main uh, continents. The they merge into one, and like you can just see this like shadow, um, like loom over the northeast, that spreads like um, spreads like a claw, uh, around the north to the west and the south, um, and like kind of like in a pincer movement into the uh, into the southeast, and you just feel it go suddenly dark as all the lights go out and I'm just gonna do this oh uh, I kind of just entranced by the painting for right now I'm just <laughs> not really sure at all what to think about anything um I I uh Who? What's? I don't. What the heck? <laughs> I'm gonna. I wanna dab the painting with my sword. Mm -hmm. As you stab at the painting, you see it crack into four pieces. Is there any specific place you wanted to stab? Partic in, in particular, the middle of the, uh, in, the middle? in the middle of the landform. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you stab in the middle. Like, that would be where the whirlpool at the, at the... Like, the island is kind of like a donut, is the way I would describe it. And at the heart okay. of the island is, like, this whirlpool and this body of water. And you, okay. like, yeah, you stab at the at the, the Haroma, which is what that whirlpool is referred to. Uh, and okay. you just see the islands crack once again into four pieces. And that shadow break off. As you hear a voice and this warmth call for you from outside the room. Outside the room? Outside the room. I start walking towards it. Kind of. Not as cautiously as I probably should be, but just mm -hmm. kind of going. Mm -hmm. Hello? I don't know if you can actually see it. There is, like, you can get the faintest of light coming from upstairs. And just warmth emanating from the staircase. Hello? It doesn't respond. Start walking upstairs. Just mm -hmm. the stairs, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As you're making your way up the stairs, the smell of jasmine grows stronger. Jasmine. And as you're moving, the floor, you notice the floor, there is more sand on the floor now, and you can just feel the grit uh, of the sand grating against the wooden, uh, the wooden floorboards as they creak oh. under your step. And I'm going to move you to the next map. All right. As if I put Rocky down up on the staircase, there, you feel you 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 making your way up the stairs. You can see coming from your room a light that's that warm. That's my room. I'm not really sure. It's the that's... one. Yeah, the one with the light. And you can uh, open that door when you want to go in. This one? Nope, that's <laughs> your parents' room. You can still go if you want to. Neither of them have a light for me. Neither one. Ah, oh, sweat to God, I'm gonna break roll twenty's legs. This one. Ah, uh, that's why. Is there a light now? Uh, maybe. Is not it? really. One second. Yeah, there is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can step into that room. Okay. Hello. Lo-fi boy. I didn't even know you could see because I didn't realize. Because <laughs> no. I did up down OBS, I was gonna do something. You see, yeah, you see Lo-Fi Boy sitting on the sofa in your room. Um, but you notice they're not sitting nearly as rigidly. They are, they're, they look almost more relaxed, which is strange because, like, you couldn't imagine Lo-Fi's body, lo body bending and, like, twisting in the way as naturally as it looks with because You're of all, boy. The, all the metal pieces. What did you just say, sorry? You're a real boy. <laughs> They're still metal. Um, but yeah, you can see his body is just radiating light through the cracks in his chase, uh, chassis. 
And like you notice the flowers on his body are also very different. Uh, instead, it's carnations, Aiden bellflowers, Sheehan sunflowers, and jasmines, and a handful of spider lilies um, in a few spots here. They're creating a vibrant, uh, bountiful bouquet um, in the areas that hold uh, flowers on the white boy's body. And as his eyes look at you, piercing through you, uh, right down, and you feel it's, th this gaze goes straight down to your soul. You can see his eyes are the four-pointed star. And their voice is obviously not Lo Hoi Boy's voice. It's uh, a clear, powerful voice that just rings within, from within your body. And their accent's very strong, uh, very similar to your uh, father's and mother's, uh, which had the rumble dialect of um, uh, modern Sheen. Oh. Would you like some tea? Uh, it's Jasmine. As they pour a teacup out of the air. I'll take some... I'll take some jasmine tea. As you just see the part now, uh, not part, sorry, the cup just start to um, steam as uh, as they hand you this uh, this cup of jasmine uh, tea. As you can see, it's very uh, it's loose leaves, so like you can just see the leaves just like kind of just flowing and just swirling uh, on the in the within the water. And they also they also have their own their own cup. That's how you know it's a good cup of tea. They smile. So what's uh, what's going on here? We'll get to sound, that. You sound different. That's Well, we'll get to that. How do you feel, Rocky? Do you feel at home? I mean, I guess I am literally at home. Uh, I f feel a little disoriented. I feel like I've, I have little lapses in my memory, but I feel... I feel comfort throughout the distress. Good. The confusion. Did you feel at home when you took your first steps here? Did you feel welcome in Shreleo? In Shreleo? Yes. Um, maybe. I, I, I don't feel... I think there's parts of me that feel lost and unplaced you know misplaced or kind of like like i don't belong anywhere but i i think maybe not my first steps but i think my recent steps have felt at home good good as they got to stand up and then they put their hand on your shoulder they, they, it looks to be there is like they, they 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 hover the hand over you for a second waiting for you to respond like if you re, um if like you reject uh, them touching your shoulder, but if you don't, they will put the their hand on your shoulder. Uh, I I don't reject, but when they do, I put my hand on top of their hand, like like in a comforting way. Yeah, <clears throat> there is a very comforting warmth from this that like is like it feels like the presence of uh, your friends. It feels like the presence of uh, your parents, and it feels like home. This jasmine tea feels like a hug. I gotta say that much. <laughs> It does, doesn't it? It's the finest leaves yeah. from Adosha. Yeah. My blood, you have been given a very tragic hand. But that fate is not one set in stone, is it? As they look at you and just My tap at your... Uh, with the other, with their free hand, you see the jasmine tea uh, that they're holding in the in the free hand. They let go. And like it just floats and they just tap you on your, um, on your, uh, your forehead gemstone. Oh. You've made countless changes for the better, leading to less tra tragedies in your short time in this place where your blood runs so deep, down to its core. And I want... I want you... to keep doing that. I want you to bring this joy that you radiate. This, this joy that you feel right now is how everyone feels with you around, Rocky. Do you understand that? Uh, I, I guess not, not fully, but it's nice to hear. They give you a smile. Do your friends shoulder your burden with you? Can you call them friends? Even though I, I would gone. call them more than friends. Good. Family. Family's family. important. Very important. Oh yeah. Every family I have has been founded. 
None by blood. Ah. You could say that. But your parents' blood runs very deep in the soil of Edo Shatu. And it hurts that they can't come home. It hurts me deeply. But I want to help you. And I want you to feel at home. I want your parents to feel at home. I want you... Rocky, you are of my blood. Of you, Lo-Fi Boy, or...? No. You are one with the pieces that have been shattered from my core. But I do not seek to be whole anymore. That, that time has passed. That time has long gone. There is so much more of this beautiful place that I wish to see. And I wish to see the world that you will sculpt, sculpt Rocky. I want you to do something for me, Rocky. Uh, name it. What, 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 what is it? They go to uh, hold up a hand with the hand that was t uh, tapping at your fore uh, the forehead gems on for a second. They go to cusp the teapot that you're holding. And they take the hand off your shoulder. Take this tea, my blood. And become okay. one of the four. One of the four. The Shioka. Shioka. As they pluck at the petals on their face, pulling a few carnation, bellflower, and sunflower petals, and put them in the tea, as crimson red blood drips out of one of the, uh, the cracks in Lo-Fi Boy's chassis into the tea, and you can see it just kind of swirl, and you can see. Shirei Leo um, in in the tea and just like the various places you have been with your friends the ground oh, yeah. quakes as it is pulled together by Haruka Sha and that cannot be he cannot be Shioma you must overthrow him Rocky and you must become the Shiodakaru of Edo Sha I want you to go oh. home take your seat and restore the balance of the world and bring your family home who, 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 who does he say doesn't belong? Haruka Sha. The Shiodakaru. The current Shiodakaru of Edo Sha. They have take, they have done a unjust rending of time and space, displacing the balance that makes Shirelio. Did you see that map that you were looking at that you had? Broken into four again, uh, when you were downstairs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He he seeks to unite the continent under his rule. He's been doing this for centuries. Oh. He has lived for too long, and disrupted the balance. How do I? of Shreleo, and I must have it restored by you. How do I stop him? You must destroy him. Right, I... Destroy him, turn to ash, or destroy him, kill him, destroy him... Anyway. Banish his soul? Anyway, his body must reach the gate, and he Where must go on. And leave the material world. Where where can I find him? At his palace in Edosha. How do I get to him? You can catch a train. You can you have an airship now, don't you? You uh you can walk if you really want to. That's a it's a it's a long distance to be honest. I guess I meant more like how do I get to his palace? How do I get close to him? How do I how do I kill him? If I, if, do I even have to kill him, or do I have to just strip him of his power? He must die. Die. He, okay. You must understand. Not... This is not. This is. This isn't some. Some lord that like is just being corrupt and taking all the taxes of their people, and spending on exuberant things that like do no benefit to their people. This. 
this being seeks to bring the next Kotaka and through the chaos unite the world under their rule and become master of the universe they cannot I that's why right, I, yeah. I split into four I could I like I didn't seek to be master of the universe but that's that's what being whole meant and if it meant I must be split into four, that's how it was. But Haruka Shah cannot be split into four. Haruka Shah must die. Must stop Haruka Shah. You must. I understand. It's okay understand. if you... It is a lot to take in. It is a lot to, to think about. And I, it doesn't matter how long it takes, Rocky. But you... You have my blood. As they put something... Blood. In your hand, that feels like a, um, a disc, a heavy disc. Interesting. And, and place it over your heart. You have my blood, oh. and you are one of the four. You, you will take a seat, and you will bring, bring balance back. But I, it doesn't matter how long you take. But I need you to do this, Rocky. Uh, I, uh, I will do everything in my power to. Wonderful. I drink. I, I drink. I take a sip. And upon taking that sip of tea, you wake up from your dream. I'm going to put you over here. Uh, by the way, give yourself a long rest because <laughs> you've had a, uh, you've taken a bit of damage, but like you're not. None of it was real. Where in the world? I'm in the, the boy. Oh, Where sorry. Are you? Are you? Shouldn't be. Uh, Did this not work? Did it not play? I, I, it's just, I was in the, I was in the, the dark part, but the dark part of the map. Ah, uh -huh, I see. see. Um, yeah, well, you. You wake up before anyone else. The fire has gone. Um, it's dwindled out a while ago. It, like it's, and you can see just like the peaks of uh, the 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 morning sun uh, dawn, uh, just cracking through some of the leaves. And you see Lo-Fi Boy there sitting in um, in the shadow of the tree, and you notice their body is very different as you can see they are covered in their vines and and the plant that uh, his bougainvillea that have that uh, have like that have grown over his entire body have even have grown further and he is more plant than machine now and you cannot see any life behind his eyes um, as amongst the smell of uh, the autumn peaches and the forest flowers and just the earthy uh, forest smells, uh, the smell of Lofi's Bougainville is just wafted out from him. I I want to run over to him. Just give me a second. Okay. Um, you all will be able to wake up now if you would like to. Um, the rest of the group. Um, if Rocky, would you wake everyone up or would you just like rush to... I'm gonna rush to the low five boy. I, I haven't woken anybody up. No. Where is it? Never mind. Everyone, you're back to sleep. Sorry, my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, y'all. Um. Yeah. As you go to. Sorry. Yeah. Go on. Lo fi You shake them and they do not stir. But they um. You see the flowers turn in your direction. Oh. And they go to stand up. Y'all. Oh. And they just look down at you. But you don't. But the eyes that are like were well, Lofi Boy's eyes, they're kind of like are just like white and blank. And the flowers are like just moving and searching. As they just swirl around Lofi Boy's body. As I'm going to put everyone's headshots back on the screen. Lonico. 
Randall. Paul, Paul, everybody. Yeah, yeah. What, what's up? What's up? What is uh, it? What's going entirely on? sure. Uh, Lofa boy is kind of. Lofa? You will see this plant uh, being um, that stands where Lofi boy is. Smells like Lofi boy. Wears Lofi boy's clothes and. Holds his umbrella very much like Lo-Fi Boy, but just covered in in it in in the plants and just pays no mind to the situation. Um, Satoshi is just hold, cradling uh, peaches as a, as you guys are all swirling around, uh, circling around Lo-Fi Boy, and is everything okay? Balto, shh, baby. Uh, I don't know. It's not saying anything. Lofi? Look right. They just look down at you. Hey, uh, me Rocky. <laughs> you know, the guy that uh, I do some finger guns. Pew, you know? Okay. Rocky. You know me. Uh, uh, you, were, you, were in my, you were in a dream I had last night, and I hope this doesn't have to do with that at all. Uh, uh, lo-fi boy. I, I, I touch his shoulder. They do not respond. The plants just look around at you guys. Can I, like, put my hand on lo-fi boy's chest and, like, close my eyes and, I guess, try and feel if his spirit or is the same as it mm -hmm. before. Sure, roll um Do you have any spells that do that or is it just straight up just like No, just I'm straight up no fighting. <laughs> Not to worry. You are able to do that. You um doing a quick little vibe check, can you roll me an insight check? Or a actually no. I'ma say Hmm. What, you're, you're, uh, as a bard, is charisma, isn't it? Uh, not as a bard, sorry. As a shaman, is charisma, isn't it? Yeah, they're both charisma. Char roll a charisma check for me. With your spell modifier. With my spell modifier. I don't know how to do that. That's okay. It'll just be um, charisma and then like, add whatever your spell modifier is. Um... Would it be five? Because I assume your charisma is plus five. My should... charisma is plus four. Give me a second. Let's let's have a look. See, let me see. I get a plus eight as well. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> now yeah, like yeah, you 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 just touch and like you feel his core beat, and you can feel like uh magic surging off of it, but you, it feels like you had to like almost like weave through like a um like a forest of branches and vines and leaves and flowers to reach it but you do feel lo-fi boy uh its core is there it feels fractured when you when you try and like sh create like a image of it in your mind palace um, and you can just feel like it's almost like being held together by the plants and like they're pulling it together and keeping it in place But it is fractured in several places in like varying sizes and degrees of damage I'm Should assuming we potentially cut off some of this excess. Would you like a little bit of a trim lo-fi boy? As I'm you, assuming you suggest that message. He doesn't respond You can try but as uh, Randall, you say that you see uh, the plant turn to you, Randall, immediately and uh, turn its uh, long uh, umbrella into its sword and shield mode, ready to defend itself. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. It's okay. It as a no. Uh, the, his core is fractured. I think the plants are actually holding it together, maybe? I... I will say also with your magical, uh, with your with that um, vibe check you did, 
you also know, like, I mean, like, you can, like, assume if you can speak to a plant, you'll be able to speak to, to them. But, um, and, like, with your message, you can't seem to, like, get to anything. Mm. Like, you even, like, you see, you feel Yuki, uh, in, like, like, you see, you feel, like, when you cast message, you feel Yuki running with your message in your head. And just searching in Lo-Fi Boy's brain for something. And then it just comes back with, like, just shakes his head. Um, as if they couldn't find any either. I Is don't know uh... if anyone has speak with plants or anything. Satoshi is going to look up theirs. Spells in a second. Yeah, if you guys have anything like communicate with plants, uh, you, you, you'd be able to communicate. Where is Are my you sh- capable of that kind of thing, Polly? Your she is <laughs> in, M- in the NPC section. Uh, right. I can definitely find that in a reasonable amount of time. No worries. You, you, like, I'm looking at my stuff as well, so you've got time. Oh, I found it. Perfect. And that would be... Where? In your features. Right at the bottom of your sheet, on the bottom right side. While you are looking for that, <laughs> hello everyone, welcome to session 25 of Throne Top Sands, A Dream of Dawn. Um, we're going to go over our sponsors and stuff during the break and any news, um, but like the first big thing and like the, the major thing right now is there is sadly no uh, Sam East, uh, Lo-Fi Boys player. Uh, he is going to need a uh, health break from uh, Throne Top Sands, um, so we wish him well, and in the meantime we're going to have um, one of the other cast members play him during combat, and then uh, he'll be returning when he's feeling uh, ready. Yeah. Uh, Yes, I have speech of beast and leaf. Perfect. If you could uh, click the little speech bubble just to put it in chat for me. You got it, boss. Thank you. Because I should have checked it as well. Yeah, they can understand the meaning of your word, but um... so yeah, you can speak to it, but it seems um... but they or uh, like they already kind of can understand you all as a group. So sadly, it's that not isn't... incredibly useful. Yeah, that isn't helpful. Drat. Which is a shame because like I thought that would allow you to speak with them. I will allow you to actually. I will allow you to be able to speak to them in like little like broken, like they are able to speak back to you in broken sentences. Uh, okay. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna allow that actually. Yeah. So uh, redact whatever I just said. <laughs> Hello. Consider it redacted. Plant speaking. How can I help you? But yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, what, what, um, when? What? What, what, think... what did you initially say to them, Polly? Um, I think. Uh... Well, I turn to everybody else, and I'm like, well, I do speak, like, a little plant. Like, I think, you know, like, my great cousin on my mom's side was part plant, so <laughs> I have, like, some knowledge. Um, and then, like, you know, like, I'm gonna try my best. Uh, so I turn to Lo-Fi Boy, and I'm like, hey, buddy, what's up? The plants just look at you. Right. And um, that you just hear, like, the faintest of, like, echoey voices that, like, sound like a thousand of the flowers just talking back at you all at once. Ooh. Must protect Lavender. Lavender and the share same garden. Must protect. Okay. Um, that is that is great could you just hold on a second and i turn to everybody else and i'm like they go to hold the tree when you say that oh okay holding on for a uh, second one and then let go 
please that's too cute um guys so um do you know anything about la a lavender lavender they they say they're pro they must protect lavender um like lavender the, the plant or like person do you know let me let me follow up with that i turn back to uh, the plants and I'm like hey buddy again it's me thank you for holding on for a second that was really that was really great um you did such a good job um who is lavender lavender is is us is garden oh we, we will lavender. Really, but lavender lavender other 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 one lavender core lavender core we hold, we hold okay. core broken you hold core do you mean lo-fi boy? They all kind of look like they turn in on each other for a second. Yes. Yes. Uh, is lo-fi boy still there? Can he talk with us? Secret. Secret. Secret seal memories. Uh, as you see, like they uh, in like one of the open in like, the open part of his face, you can see like the plants move, and they just reveal this tiny broken crystal that is like a that comes from iridescent um, like um, blues and pinks, and then it pulls itself uh, pulls that crystal piece back in. Okay. Cannot face so... pain. Broken core. Lambda isn't healed. If pain again, the garden will be destroyed. Okay, so you're telling me that. You're protecting Lavender by hiding that pain. Okay. Um, do you know what happened? Can you tell us what happened? Give me a second. Pain. Wild pain nearby. Must protect Lavender. Wild pain nearby. Keep secret. Okay. Um, if you could hold on again, just for one more second, I have to confer with the rest of my garden. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Where would you have um, to hold? As they will go towards you. Uh, I pick up. Well, I look on the ground and I see if there's anything like a stick nearby or something. There is this like there's a bunch of stick. You're like there's a bunch of fallen leaves and sticks. Okay, so I pick up a small um, handful of leaves. Thank you. And I pass them over to the garden, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm like, here you go. You just hold on to that. Thank you so much for doing this for me. One second, or they ask. Uh, but maybe a couple more. Maybe um, you know, a minute. Uh, just while I, I talk to, to my garden over here, if yes. that's okay. As they start counting to themselves. One. Thank you so two, much. And I turn one. to everybody else. Uh, and sort of in hushed tones, I'm like, something oh, sorry. really bad sorry. <laughs> has happened. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I keep moving along. <laughs> I'm trying to move the baby, but I moved the wrong one. <laughs> the baby's just like floating mm. <laughs> nearby. Yes, yeah, so she comes over. Um, but yeah, sorry, you were saying, sorry, Polly? Uh, so this is, uh, everybody, this is the garden. Um, I do believe when they said lavender, they were referring to Lo-Fi Boy. Uh, and they say, like, something has happened, and, um, he's still there, but they're protecting, uh, by, like, keeping some, like, really bad memories and some pain i think like hiding it i don't i it's a little uncertain because you know my plant speak isn't that good like i said like great cousin on my mom's side um but more importantly uh they said that they're the thing that caused the pain is nearby uh and i don't know what to do about that mm. I, I don't, I don't know if this is correlated or maybe just some strange coincidence, but I'm pretty sure I got contacted by some type of DAD last night. Um, oh. uh, 
Oh, huh. Okay. <laughs> Toshi uh, is just confused and like, kind of like just like laughs uncomfortably for a second. Uh, so they were talking about me. I, I, so uh, you guys all turned to sand at some point. Uh, Peach was there. Peach was great. You know, as cute as ever. Uh, I met my mom. I, I say I met my mom. I saw my mom and I fought my mom. Uh, and then I, I, I walked upstairs to my bedroom. You know how I do. And then Lo Fi Boy was there. But it wasn't really Lo Fi Boy. It was like some weird deity in the form of Lo Fi Boy. I honestly. Did not catch its name. Um, I, I forget. When you uh, say it, that, a lot of problems happening. <laughs> when you say that, would you have put that thing that they gave you uh, in a pocket? Uh yeah, I put it. I put it in my pocket. The little plate you thing. Would, yeah, the, it was like a tiny little disc. Um, disc it's, yeah, it's like just a bit smaller than the inside of your palm. Um, okay. You 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 feel it like you feel warmth from where it is. Uh, and like you realize like that that it transferred from the dream and you hear it okay. you just feel, hear this voice like no one else can hear it, but just you you hear this voice in your head shiosha is my name they say shiosha okay this whispering uh, so like i'm pretty sure it was probably just the dream i like i touched my pocket right when i say that it's like and then i like look into it uh so like and then and i i pull it out of my pocket and i'm just like yeah, and then I was given something pretty much just like this in my dream, um, oh. which is a little peculiar because I did not have this beforehand. Uh, so maybe it wasn't just a dream. Anyway, so uh, uh, Shio Sha was the name of the deity thing that I met, uh, was in the possession of uh, Lo-Fi Boy, touched my shoulder at some point, gave me some tea. Long story short, blah, blah, blah. Don't mean to bore you all. Uh uh, I don't know if this dream. has anything to do with that. Satoshi, that? Satoshi just says you have a, you had a blessed dream. You met Shiosha. It felt like I was on some like sleeping medication kind of dream. That's all I'll say. Um, a little bit of a fever dream, you know. Uh, <clears throat> I would have said the same thing until you pulled out that from the thing from your pocket. Yeah, no, this is new. Uh, when this is fascinating. When you <clears throat> see that, it looks like a pocket compass. Um, but it's instead of having one arrow, it has four. Obviously, the four pointed star, and each point represents a different uh, color of the night sky one sunset, one twilight, one midnight, and one uh, dawn. Uh huh. Or day, um, night, sorry. So, this is my this is a pretty useless compass, but it is pretty. Uh, this is my compass, everybody. Uh, God gave it to me. Uh, read it and weep. Uh, I put it back in my pocket. Uh, so I don't know if maybe that has something to Satoshi. do with. Uh... <laughs> Satoshi yes. does a little a little prayer. <laughs> as they, as Lo as is it, like really still. <laughs> I say, look at the compass. Oh, um, yeah. I don't really. So I don't know if maybe like that says something to do with Lo Fi Boy. Um, can, I, can I talk to the compass? I pull the compass back out. Uh, h- hello. It doesn't respond. Rocky. Yeah, why, why would it? It's a compass. It's... Uh, well, yeah, what's up? <laughs> oh, it's not. It's, it's um, like the outside of it is like a very ornate uh, shell with like um, patterns and like uh, just like markings of like, of like various birds and a Kirin. Um, and Kirin. just like, yeah. Um, and just like uh, various creatures of um, mythical import. Like Kamainu, uh, Raiju, and the like. Just, it's a lot of detail for such a small little thing. And Satoshi just keeps uh, praying to themselves as they look at it. As and uh, Peaches, Rocky, what did... sorry, Golo, sorry. What did Shiosha talk to you about? Uh, that's the the tricky part, and I felt like you know, um. It feels it feels a little unpertinent right now for the whole lo-fi boy thing, but basically I just need to kill somebody, uh, a specific person, not just anybody. That'd be weird. Um, so it named uh, Harukasha, uh, kind of mm-hmm. third. Third. Do we do we know that name? Like, yeah, with Rocky's like struggling through his accent, um, Lo and Holly <laughs> and Satoshi would all know Harukasha. You may have heard Rocky. You could roll. Uh, I mean, Randy, you could roll a history check if you would like. Oh, okay. But Lo, you you are aware Harukasha is the uh, Shidakaru Emperor of Edo Shah, referred to as the Earthquake, 
and same with you Polly they are the one that is essentially uh, commanding the Aiden army to go to war with the entire continent that Randall, a 10 that's a fat average you know of them you know little about like the effect you just know that they've like caused a few like input laws to be a bit weird here and there uh, especially with all his conquests and I guess with what I'm trying to find out is would it be hard to kind of kill them if if that's the case um i mean they are emperor they have, Edo Shah. they are like so the yes, they have a palace yes. plus, so uh i'm kind of worried Armies. about killing them. <laughs> yes <laughs> the most powerful army in shrey leo I we've add. toppled we can topple that they have armies they got sleeves they got everything man i don't know what to tell you uh you gotta so, try to fight that guy yeah i don't know they said it's not it's not like right now it's not like today i need to go kill him it's like it's like no. the general okay. fuser i need to prepare kind of like my end game is to kill this man and then i become i don't know if i become emperor or i just become some type of weird person elemental thing i'm not really sure i'm a little hazy um about the whole all the information thing um it's just a little uh um what? i don't know anyways for lo fi boy right what's up yeah um <clears throat> what so to 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 recap Something nearby caused Lo-Fi Boy a whole lot of pain. And now the garden, and I motion to the garden. When um, you do that, <laughs> sorry, they drop the leaves, minute gone. And you see peaches with ho still uh, nursing that one peach from like the day before. That's getting a little Gif bold, man. <laughs> <laughs> they gift it to, uh, to Lo-Fi Boy's uh, husk. And Lo-Fi Boy goes to hold it. Aww. So you are Peachy so smiles. good at holding things, buddy. Good job. Oh, thank you. As far as <laughs> Lo-Fi Boy goes, um, <laughs> well, we were traveling around here to Kasakawa to meet possibly his last surviving family member because the rest of his family from quite a while ago were killed. Oh, but I... I don't remember if he ever told us or knew who, who killed his family. Well, uh, I was thinking that maybe because uh, I'm nearby that I had something to do with his state of mind. Um, but hopefully not. Ho hopefully not. <laughs> but, uh, if it why, is the plan. Can I ask, would you have... Uh effect on that me you asking me yeah i mean i don't know with the whole deity thing if like them controlling lo-fi oh. boy in my dream somehow had mm. an effect and then they're saying nearby as in this compass is somehow mm. uh I, bad but it might be the, the I family could, member I could, thing. I could ask yeah ask. Should I ask? Oh, nice. yeah go for it why not ask of them if they are if it was the compass hey buddy Thanks. Again, the holding thing's really working out for you. You can Thank make you. a career out of that. Um, I've been holding umbrella for a long time. And it really shows. Thank the you. practice really, you know, practice makes perfect. Uh, a few more questions. I'm sorry this is taking so long. I know you it's probably okay. have other things to do. Time doesn't matter for garden. Only eat sun. Oh, Ooh, that is quite the sentence. Um, I'm going to write that back. That is a very fucking good out of context. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, we have some more questions about what happened to Lo-Fi Boy. Um, was this anything to do with the uh, experience that Rocky had last night? Anything to do with this compass? Uh, could you show the, the compass to them, Rocky? Yeah, this uh, this thing. Does that look familiar to you guys? They just look at it quizzically. Well, as quizzically as flowers can. Uh, <laughs> and say, no, don't, don't know. Don't know. Okay. Reason broken. Um, secret. Oh. Secret seals memories. Ask ask if it was something that we experienced in the temple. Cool. Ooh. Okay. So the 
they just said that the reason Lo-Fi Boy is broken is secret, secret seals memories. They so not. are you not allowed to tell us? Lavender asked a long time ago, keep secret. Garden destroyed La once already. Broke if, if call break again, Lambda and us no more. Okay. Um, so they're saying that Lo-Fi Boy asked a long time ago to keep it a secret because if the core breaks again, is not going to be very good. Um, geez, how do we help you? Time, time only heal. Time, time only time? heal. How does time. Many years last Wait, time. Here. Many years last time. They said it took many years last time to heal from this. Now I'm to reset mind temple. Rest. Balto pain is bigger. We don't know. Mm, but we do we they do need best. A... We take good care. Take good care. And you are doing such a good job of holding. Yes. Normally um, we sleep, but this this dangerous place we we must go. We must mm. go. Do you do you sense any danger nearby? They look towards the um the north, which is where the uh, ex the ruins of the uh, exploded mountain of Kasakawa is, and you can just see ash just still dripping from the sky, as there's a bit of a haze uh, through um, through the little cracks of light that you can see through into the the world above the the forest. Okay, that makes sense. Kasakawa is still dangerous. Um, geez, I'm kind of stumped here. I think all we can do is get Lo-Fi's body somewhere safe, so that, well, whatever recovery he needs, I'm not sure there's anything we can do to help. We'll just have to keep what's here safe. Uh, I turn to to the the garden and, and Lo-Fi boy, and I'm like... Would you be okay uh, coming with us so we could help you yes. uh, take care of, of, of Lo-Fi Boy? Yes. Help hold? Lavender always take good care of, of us. Good water, good lemon juice. Good umbrella Good water, salad. good lemon juice. Now our turn to take care of Lavender. Okay, so you stick with us, buddy, and we'll take the best care of Lavender. Does that sound good? Yes. Okay, well, it looks like... Uh, they're okay with us coming with us and, and getting Lo-Fi Boy to safety. So I guess now we just got to plan how to get out of here. Okay. <clears throat> well. well, we were trying to find the village, right? Right. Right, we're still lost. <laughs> oh, God, we're always lost. Uh I hate this forest. As you say that, uh, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to be back in five to ten minutes. Uh, and we're going to find out where the part you want to go. Uh, and then I will also uh, go over our sponsors and a few other things and say hello to you guys because we haven't spoken, have we? Um, <laughs> but I'll see you guys in a hot second. Um, and uh, we'll be back with uh, the next half of uh, session 25. See you in a bit. Bye. Oh, if I don't see you when I get Bye, back. Everybody. Hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening. But yeah, see you in a hot second.
attention Shine a light through a prison full spectrum Pull the curtains back, you're my dimension Lay back and just forget the future People never make it out. I'm a five star brain in a two star town. And I'ma give it back when I have enough money in my hands. Enough for the friends and the fam. And I owe it all to Yahweh. Lord knows that I couldn't do it my way. Almost bought a ticket for the fast lane. Now I'm hopping on a flight to the Epiglade to forget the pressure. Bonsoir. Hello, everyone. Hi. Um, sorry I didn't say welcome uh, at the beginning of the stream. I, we wanted a hot uh, opening, but I want to say hello to you all now. Thank you for all being here. Thank you for all being part of this uh, explosive, dreamy start to Throne Top Sands. It's trippy, right? I hope you've been enjoying it. Um, if you have, uh, please do tell me. And uh, as you know, channel points and layer actions are available. You guys are able to spend your channel points and influence, help, and hinder the party any way you want. Uh, well, I say anywhere you want, uh, specifically through the, the channel for redemption system, you know, their actions, competing threats and such and such. You know how it'd be. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for being here. Thank you, Colombian Brucho, for uh, the follow. Uh, uh, Georgia, thank you for the sub, my love. I appreciate that. Uh, and everyone that's been here lurking, uh, thank you for giving your time and energy uh, to just being here and hanging out. And if you've been, um, and if you're watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you, f uh, thank you for that. I hella appreciate that. If you're new to the community and uh, new to hopping in to Toronto Sands, hop in uh, the Discord. First I'm catching RPG stream, I think. It's really funny. You have such a good voice and stuff. Thank you. I hella appreciate that, Avril. That's very sweet of you to say. This was like, this, like I tasks in like the, especially like uh, like post season 12, I want to, uh, session 12, sorry, because this we start season two. Um, post session like 12, I think, is when like, I think we really come into our own and it becomes a lot more, have a, a fun experience especially like, like it's like we're, we're interactive now you guys can you guys can <laughs> cause pain to the party if you wish to or you can help them and help support them on their adventure and like uh we've i've been wanting to do the session since december uh, 4th so i'm so glad that this was the first one you were able to catch up on and that you're enjoying it it's like yeah it's it's such a such a wild start i will say because like the idea of it like came together um, kind of, like it all just kind of fell into place and like it was just like there was a few things that like couldn't go the way we wanted to because like uh, we want uh, some people we couldn't get uh, due to time uh, time uh, restraints um, but we were still able to get such a cool little opening uh, for this uh, start to the season um, but if you want to catch the previous sessions you can uh, hop on uh, on YouTube, all the VODs are there from session one all the way to 24. This will be out on Sunday next week. Uh, if you want to recap or finish whatever you didn't finish. Um, but yeah, I'm going to quickly go over our sponsors because I'm also going to chat with the players because I didn't, uh, because I did throw them into the deep end with that start. Um, but I hope you're having a great day, Avril. Um, 
and anyone else in chat um yeah there's the discord there is uh, the pods on youtube uh, first sponsor is dice roll uk i uh, am sponsored by dice roll uk who are a, a uk a local um uh dice distributor uh, and they also do various ttrpg accessories like dice bags they do engrave uh, engravings actually now as well and you can get their dice on uh, dice.uk slash kazadm and help support the stream their stuff is amazing i have a bunch of dice from them and like if you join their discord they do dice giveaways too if you're in the uk you get free shipping but they do also ship internationally uh, go check them out next i wanna uh, i'm going to uh, shout out my girlfriend georgia uh, who is one of our other sponsors georgia marjorie uh, she creates a wonderful range of stunning sterling silver pendants ring earrings and necklaces and i have her little katana hilt uh, studs they are gorgeous and her silver dragon uh, collection especially uh, based around uh, uh, the dungeon master the rogue and the um the fighter classes are stunning and they are the she makes just such cool jewelry. Go support her. Go, go check out all her stuff. And if you can afford and grab a piece of her dice, do it. She does. They, they are wonderful. Uh, next sponsor is We're So Fucking Sorry, which is... We're So Fucking Sorry. I didn't... That's not the theme song. I can't do it. I think it's, that's not the one. It's Sorry, isn't it? Yeah. Um, We're So Fucking Sorry is our other sponsor, uh, which is a podcast where Sammy and Lucy, uh, Taya's player, uh, uh, player character, Sammy... And uh, Polly's uh, car- uh, player, Lucy, uh, have a podcast where they unleash a, unleash a wonderfully chaotic, hourly, bite-sized podcast where they just hang out and talk about stupid stuff and also cool stuff and just have a wonderfully chaotic fun time. They are amazing. And you should go support them on Spotify or anywhere else where, they, uh, where you can listen to podcasts. I think Spotify is the only place you can. There's a little tab on the... Um, in our sponsor section that shows which uh, uh, which where you can find them um, and also if you enjoy all the fan art on stream right now or have your own fan art uh, for Tata you want to share uh, send it over to me on discord or on twitter or instagram and I will add it to the reel and you'll, uh, if you want to check out any of these eyes on, um, on their socials please do they do wonderful stuff as well and there is just just such a lot of cool stuff um, but I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go back to the players and we're going to get back into the session in a hot sec. I'm just going to throw a quick pre-roll before we get started. Uh, see you guys in a hot second.
Welcome back, everyone, to session uh, 25 of Turn Top Sounds. What are you guys doing there? Let me just change the music. I'm not going to change the music. I'm going to leave the music going. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to turn the other music off. <laughs> oh, man. As you just hear more crows cawing around you, and Satoshi just kind of like muffling Peach's ears and then giving her another peach out of the tree above you guys. All right. These crows well, are spooky. Uh... Sorry, yes, Polly? I said, these crows are spooky. Oh, they, they, maybe the temple ain't such a good idea then. We, me and Lo-Fi Boy experienced a, a murder of crows in there at one point. Somebody killed the crows? Oh, God. Well, wish, That's honestly, even worse. We done that. <laughs> I don't think the crows are going to go away. Okay, yeah. I would pick up a rock and throw it at one of the crows. Uh, hey, what the heck? Oh, <laughs> Please don't, don't, don't do that. Aggregate. Yeah, I don't think don't we should. Aggregate. I don't think. I mean, if the <laughs> if the crows are like this, if that thing that's talking to us, like maybe we shouldn't should, aggravate. They're, they're just Ooh, vibing. Maybe they should. Maybe they should give us our space. They're vibing, dude. They just all look right, at you, and as like you say that, they just all fly away. Mm-hmm. They just what? Sorry, because you cut out. They there. just they just all flew away. Oh, okay. See? Well, they're good listeners. Come back. I like them. Okay. Are you all ready to they're go inside? Spooky. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, something can be, you know, s s spooky, and you can also like them. 
you know how many different things we've fought so far? Man, I, I, I don't know. Crows are kind of the bottom of the, the scary list for me. Yeah, but they have an ominous presence. So do you, man. Well, that's hurt. That's kind of hurtful, but okay. I didn't mean it. I just got upset. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's. Are we going inside? What are we doing? <laughs> what yeah, is the entrance? Cross, we have to cross this little river here. What is this okay. other way around, though? Satoshi pipes up. Uh, Rocky's already has his feet, feet in the water. <laughs> he takes 40 damage because he's weak to water because he's rock type. Thanks. Oh, uh, I rode, guys. <laughs> his foot's gone. <laughs> he's had a fucking prophecy and he's died. It became smooth. <laughs> no, it became oh. smooth. Got tumbled. <laughs> <laughs> So how are we getting over there? How did oh, how did you guys get over there yesterday? Last night? What's time? Yeah, uh, last well, night. We yeah. were able to kind of jump across to, like these metal parts of the. Didn't the you mech fly? Here, and then I oh, yeah, I was gonna. And I also flew. So. <clears throat> oh. Hmm. Satoshi can't yeah, fly. Maybe we should look in... for another way. I can fly. Satoshi pipes up. Well, okay. Well, good you for y'all. <laughs> yeah. Could like, Satoshi the airship? fly us across? <laughs> are you talking about the airship or like actually fly? He yeah, actually I, can I feel fly. Like about the airship. I can mm. actually fly. Oh, how? But well, also the thing. airship as well. I have what, to. I, I'm a sorcerer. I can. They say as like their hair oh. kind of like shines, uh, uh, like waves proudly. Could you sorcel us over? Sorcel, sorcel us, man. Let's find out. Sorcel us. I mean, I, I can cast it three times. Oh. Mm. Well. On touch. I can get across. But I can only take myself. Uh. And it's only one at a time, I think. I, I mean, I'm... if Randall and Lo Lonico can go, then you just carry me, Polly, and uh, Lo-Fi Boy, and then I'll carry Peaches when I go. I mean, I can probably carry someone, too. Okay. I can carry, yeah, I can carry some. Oh, well, to be fair, I've got a baby. I can't carry someone, sorry. Yeah, you carry the baby. Oh. You're that, that's, that's your fault. We could oh. look for another way. One that will conserve our energy better. That's fair. It is a waste of a spell slot. Well, it's not a waste of a spell slot, but it's that's three spells wasted in one go. I've just woke up. Fine. It's very exhausting. Okay. <laughs> so she just okay. There might be another bridge. That's fair. Let's, when, let's look for a bridge. When everyone's walking away, Satoshi will turn and then just smile at you low and then give you a wink like as if like a thank you for like not like make like <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I wanted to be sorcelled. <laughs> Today sucks. <laughs> You've just woke up. Oh yeah, did I, do you guys want breakfast? I also forgot like Satoshi doesn't even ask that, like I've, I just realized you guys just woke up. I don't know if you guys wanted to make breakfast. <laughs> I grab a peach from the tree and start eating it on my go. Yeah, there's no time for that. Breakfast to go. You grab too many, too many. Take out protein bar. My man's come out of prison, stole all their protein bars. Can you all roll? Well, actually, yeah. What's your margin going to lower your first? Roll me a d12, please. What am I rolling? A d12, please. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> oh God! Well, I didn't Why? do nothing. I didn't do nothing. You were laughing. You were laughing. <laughs> <laughs> You're still laughing. laughing. <laughs> That's devious. I, I haven't got a reverse for this noise. So, like, actually, no, I do. I do. Don't mind. Beside, uh, in front of you, over here, uh, you hear. Give me a second. When I find the thing. There you are. You just hear a rupture of the water as something pushes itself out and starts rushing, yeah. wading out of the water towards you guys. Yeah. Like a little, like, kind of like swiveling of its hips as it makes its way towards you. This giant kappa crawling to you on all fours with this giant, rotund, slimy green body. Way I don't way see it all I don't, just swash it. I don't like this noise. <laughs> oh my I was god! Really hoping it that would be going. a wizard. Oh. oh okay. God. I push. I, can I push Lonnie? Oh no! Me? You wanna push oh. Lonnie out of the way? Yeah. Mhm. Mm 
And as you push Lone Nico out of the way, give me a second. Oh no, it's, there's gonna be another one coming out of the goddamn trees right there, isn't there? <laughs> out of the trees! <laughs> I just pushed Lonico into the jelly beans. <laughs> I love how you they're the jelly bean ones. I don't you, know why. Then you hear I like jelly another heavy splash as another one ruptures out of the water behind you. Oh, no. I Ooh. hate these guys. I love them, but I hate them. What the heck is that? And they have a surprise round on you all. Parents. Oh. <laughs> <Your> parents. <laughs> Oh, I'm yeah, dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> so this one's going to come over to you, Randall, and peck you. Boo. And then make two claw attacks. I don't know. Oh, miss. Miss. <clears throat> You're safe. They start pecking at the air, but like the trees are kind of like keeping down so they're not... Uh, able to get down on you but this one in the back goes towards you and uh, polly and lo-fi boy going for a peck on lo-fi boy and then two claws one on uh one on lo-fi and one on rocky i mean uh, uh polly oh the 23 does get uh lo-fi boy but does uh the uh, does the 12 hit you uh lonely um polly uh i'm looking at my ac mm -hmm. i got 14 you're safe let me just change the music to a bit more tense because this is too dreamy <laughs> We're having a great time. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, but yes, this one's gonna just peck down. Sorry, slash down a lo-fi boy. He's splashing down with this like um, as water just like flies off its body as its claw slams into lo-fi boy's um, plant, and you see something get squished down by the force of the capper, the capper's uh, webbed claw. That wasn't meant to be the number. Minus six. And then, um, they are going to end their turn, I believe. It is now... They're going to pass their turn over to... Low Nico, because she looks the weakest, because she's a child. Wow. A child? <laughs> a child. Uh, Rookie, what's your AC? Uh, 13. Great. Um, I am that going zero right to... now. Great <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm going to cast Bark Skin on you. Oh, um, what's that mean? It means your AC can't be less than sixteen. Up to sixteen. So you're you're sixteen AC. Okay. I'm at a shield with a three on it. That means that's how much it's gone up by. Okay. Uh, if you could uh, describe to me what your how you cast your Bark Skin and how uh. How it looks when it applies to Rocky. Um, she like puts her hand on his arm, and her mask seems to like little sort of patterns of fire seem to dance across it. It's, it feels very warm. Um, so I guess less kind of barky and just very sort of a strong warmth. Mm. Covers him. Yeah, like just like a, a veneer of fire, almost. Yeah. Uh, wonderful. That looks excellent. As it's like you just feel like you've been, you've just had this really like this warm jumper just get pushed down onto you, Rocky. You feel very snug inside it, and your AC has gone up. Anything else, Lonico? Um, that was an action. Oh, so. I'm just gonna stay here and cast Bardic Inspiration uh, on Rocky. Then and I'll Rocky. pass my turn to Rocky. It's okay. your turn, Rocky. I, uh, I'm gonna move right here. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm like stretching, getting ready for my, my sword uh, to swing it like I would normally. Uh, but then I feel like that compass kind of like called to me a little bit and it feels like I have this power surging through my crystals that I, I'm not used to having and I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, is it a cone? Is it going to attack? I don't know if no, it it's not hits a beam. It's a beam. Okay, it's a beam. Okay, okay. sick. As, well, it's just targets or whatever, yeah. As you feel the compass uh, grow heavy in your pocket, you reach in and you feel a handle pulling out a revolver made of ethereal light but its barrel 
is instead of being like sideways, like facing towards um, uh, where you shoot, it's to its side and it is the compass just spinning. And if you want to roll a two attack for me, as you <laughs> you do Blade Ward. <laughs> just... Yeah, no, you might click the wrong thing. If yeah, you... yeah. Well, well, I clicked Blade Ward earlier. I didn't mean to click that. You know, but, it's, um... it's in your attack section as well, if you want to... Okay, uh... That's 13. 13 hits. Is it just normal to hit? It yeah. hits? It hits. Okay, and then I, I, uh... And then I just go to... Where the heck? Okay, and then I just click... This... That's going to be 15. Just give me a second. As is that 15 did you say? Yeah. Yeah. As um you you all just see Rocky pull this uh gun out, the entire area just dims. As like the all light is being em is emanating from this, so everything just seems to just suddenly just grow dark and Rocky is the only point point of light. And you just hear this gunshot just erupt from um, from Rocky as uh, the Kappa gets shot by a beam that looks like roll from the sound. Uh, not um, Rocky. Rocky, what's your favorite time of day? Uh, I like more uh, it's like sunrise, I guess. Mm -hmm. You just see this beam that looks that is orange and yellow and looks like the rising sun as it just pierces through the kappa pushing it back and you just see it's got a hole that's just being blasted through it's um like uh just up just below it's um it's abdomen and it's just this huge just erupted hole that just bursts white fire as now as it just shrieks and quacks in its distorted tones at you rocky in a ver but like very weakly as a, uh, as it kind of wobbles to keep its balance. Okay. Well, as the uh, the kind of light dissipates, I want to kind of come out of the beam, um, like as it kind of fades away, uh, and swing with my bonus, kind of uh, attack with my sword, mm -hmm. uh, with the melon slicer. Go ahead. Did it? Did it go? There we go. It uh, did. I'm assuming twenty six hits, and then. That is going to be 20 damage. He's done it. Cleaving this capper in half as you just... The smell of... Amongst all the peaches, the scent of watermelon. Um, crisp watermelon fills the air as Rocky just slashes through the capper in, slicing it in half. Um, as it kind of like just... Just slides and falls apart. And then just erupts into white fire. I should put it over here because you guys get XP. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, Sick. that one's gone. Good job, Rocky. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then I kind of give uh, I give Randall a finger gun and I pass it to him. Is yours turn, Randall? What would you like to do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna poke at this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please do okay. Oh, that hits. There you go. <laughs> 10 dabblage on that guy. As you just poke at it, it just like kind of hunches over at the um, at the stabbing. And it just like shrieks at you. And it just creates this distorted um, noise that just rings in your ears for a second. Um, give me a second. Ryan, your ear. Um, Randall. Turn the volume down a little bit on that sorry, one. Sorry, that was... Sorry, my mistake. I mean, I'll say that in character, too, but... <laughs> <laughs> sorry, someone might be a bit loud. Holy Moses. Yeah, very, anyway. very uh, immersive. <laughs> anything else you'd like to do? Uh, I will yell to Lo-Fi Boy or the Garden and be like, You gotta come in and help with us, buddy, because like, we need your assistance here. Giving uh, him advantage, and I will pass my turn to him. Mm -hmm. Back to you then, Sam. <laughs> uh, that's good. What do I? Okay, so what do I have to do to pick my weapon? Is that like a whole thing? So or... like, yeah. So he has. If you want to just do like normal, it, it's just a long sword. But he does have a ability that. Uh, let me see. Because I haven't seen the sheet in ages, actually. 
Well, like, yeah, like, let's, like, randomize this thing. Like, let's see Yeah, he does, he does have that. So, like, <laughs> roll me a d20, please. I mean, d12, sorry, d12. Okay. As, uh, that is his Malipo, um... Three. Yeah, so this is a free action, so you get three. It's become a great axe. Your so he you see the um the garden uh pull off the umbrella and the uh the, uh, the, the staff and you just see him just twist the umbrella head uh and kinda of attach it to the uh the staff of the uh, the umbrella and it become it just shift as like the uh, wild magic squares just glitch and distort themselves to form into a axe head. And now Love Hobo has just this giant axe. Um Ready to start swinging. 21, baby. That hits. Do you want to rage as well? I believe you uh, can yes, rage sure. as well as, as bonus action. Rage. Yeah. Then roll me a D100, please. Oh, boy. Oh, he's got I don't one. want to be in this vicinity. <laughs> 66. The number of the beast. <laughs> and how much damage did you do with that uh, on the Grey Axe? Oh, I did not even click that yet. My bad. No worries. Um, oh, like nineteen. <laughs> Am I tripping? <laughs> nah, that's it. Nineteen. Good old gray axe. It'll do it. And you got delayed self. So uh, what happens is, so you just see Lofi. You see the garden start glitching in place and just becoming, uh, like various like um repetitions of itself in various stages of movement so like it's like as it looks moving across from here to its uh, initial swing of the great axe you just see it kind of glitching in place as if like it's kind of like when Pymera was falling through the world um like like he's experiencing lag yeah and what that does is you see oh, no. No, no 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 you, you like this <laughs> okay okay what is 19 times 2 Oh, I'm bad at math, people. That is, uh, uh 38. As yeah. you see a second cut appear in the kappa, as the garden just slices it in four different places as it's glitching. And you see the garden glitching in place and just turn to you all, and you see it give, a, give you all a thumbs up as the kappa just erupts <laughs> and is gone. In excitement, Randall, like, because he was going to go for, like, a high five, but he sees the thumbs up, he goes for, like, he presses his thumb against uh, the garden's thumb. You Which see... Where's the yeah! garden? <laughs> you see that love... Was... You see them smile at you. Their, exp their eyes are, like, blank, but they they have a smile on uh, on their eyes. And this is... Put the combat music back on. I didn't mean to do that. But yeah, they, they smile at you um, when... Um, when you press your thumbs uh, to hit uh, to theirs. Good work, team. Good work. Hey. Anybody need healing? <clears throat> nope. I'm good right now. Pardon? So Tokshi just rocking the baby. I think I'm, I'm all good. <laughs> <laughs> Garden, are you okay? Garden just turns to you. Bit hurt, but it's okay. Bit hurt. I can I could heal you up a little bit. They give a little bow. Okay, like all the flowers. Oh bound. yeah, you know I could use some healing. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, like Lo-Fi Boy doesn't uh, bend, but like the flowers all do a little bow. That's cute. So cure wounds. How do I do this again? So if you, it should be in your attack section. You should see there's a cute. There you are. Five healing. It's not much, but hopefully it puts a little pep in your step. They smile and they look down at their feet. Bit of pep, maybe? Not sure. Bit, bit of pep? Not seen pep. That's before. okay, buddy. You you can report back later. Yes, pep. And then she starts moving forward. Good stuff. Good talk. I'm just, uh, and I also want to say I'm just creeping around these trees in a sense. Like, I'm like. You want to roll perception? If you want, you can roll please. stealth and perception. It's like you just scout around. Um, stealth. I'll do that one first. No worries. Stealth. 25. Oh, you are able to creep around and like rush ahead of the rest of the group because they don't even notice you disappear. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much on the, my tippy toes of my claws. Like mm. I just dance <laughs> away like a ballerina. Dance I would away. also like to be quieter now. Just... 
Yeah, sure, yeah, roll stealth if you want to yeah. roll stealth me. Uh, would you like garden to be stealthy? Garden, please try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, often. Oh! 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 Your boy is just. It's. I have been very lucky lately, actually. Neat. Dude. Yeah, wild. My boy has disappeared. He is. You just see where Garden was, there's just like one flower in the ground. And every now and then it just peeks up. Yeah. And that is. And you see like a periscope. <laughs> He like oh, garden just looks like a bush. Your two net twenties. Oh shit! <laughs> Maybe. Also, hello, Dutch Dungeon. As um, <laughs> as you see, <laughs> Lo-Fi Boy, or Garden, um, turn into a bush of Bougainvillea, and create like that periscope one. You see a few flowers near, fifteen little flowers nearby, all turn, and look at um, and you can see like some of the petals. Almost do like a clapping motion as they look at uh, at garden turn into this bush <laughs> and just disappear. Thank you for the raid, Dutch Dungeon. Welcome to the vibe in. Uh, feel free to give us a follow if you enjoy it, or just lurk and vibe if you want to. Um, you have if you have channel points, you are able to help at, or hinder the party through uh, channel point redemptions. Thank you, Beanie Toes, for the follow. That's a very cute name. Um, yeah, and if you do enjoy the vibes, feel free to join the Discord too. That's now you spell Discord. <coughs> Medieval, thank you for the follow as well. You are a star. You're all beans. Thank you for being here. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, um, and Satoshi is also gonna uh, be stealthy as like Rocky just starts tripping on some of those flowers that are clapping. <laughs> we turn around. <laughs> Rocky! I'm not even I'm like, I'm like whistling. <laughs> <laughs> no idea what's going on Polly you are also not the stealthiest you're crunching on leaves as you go but you think you're doing a good job Lonely Co you <laughs> I are think I'm doing better. Yeah. you are watching Randall and you're just like trying to imitate his stealth and being a stealthy the you're jingling yeah. you actually f see like you can feel Loki <laughs> like uh, not Loki sorry Yuki just kind of peek out of your head and holding onto the bells on your mask to keep them from jingling <laughs> Um, can I uh, can I turn to Rocky and be like, you gotta be sneaky like this, and they're very they like crunch, obviously crunch. and loudly crunch on yeah. the leaves. Satoshi then also is right behind you, yeah, okay. just like that as they're crunching on a bunch of leaves. <laughs> and we're all just okay. crunching along. Okay, everybody, I'll make sure to be stealthy. Just, Lonika, stay away from them. Stay away from them right now. <laughs> yeah. You guys can like get up ahead and like with that fifteen percent, seventeen perception. You don't see much, but you just see like uh, some of the crows and ravens in the area just fly over and into the ruins. And you can just see up ahead like just some uh, a Tory gate uh, with some ravens just perched on there, just watching. And not watching you guys, just in, just watching the forest as as they're doing their own thing. And as like Rocky, you're crunching in the back and uh, being stealthy. Satoshi does ask you, are you are you feeling okay? Is everything? A little disoriented, and I can do magic now. Uh, but I'm good. I think I, I think sure. I'm all right. You, you, just, you maybe you maybe you you're you're a um you're a divine sorcerer then you, maybe. You might, divine maybe. sorcerer. Yeah, like did like it, I mean like that's like, that can only explain it. Surely, like you 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 just suddenly gain gain magic. I mean, if you oh, and like, if, if you need help sorcering, I uh, I'm very saucy. I appreciate it. I would love the the source with you one day, but I, I I don't know. I don't really fully feel like that's what it is. I mean, I, I met I met some sort of deity that gave me a task, and I woke up with powers. It just feels. Mm, it was a blessed dream, you as know. you said, and that compass. Yeah. Maybe you can ask a temple. I can ask a temple. Yeah. And where are Either you, way. Randall? Ah, yes. Less. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw like Randall and oh my god. Um Yeah, you guys you can see the ruins of this uh temple with like the front wall has just been smashed and like turned to rubble. And you can just see like this like pathway that goes upwards, these steps, and just see this uh, these little like canals uh of water flowing downwards and a few Kamainu statues outside standing guard. 
as you make your way closer to to the ruins. That uh, uh th Polly... this, this temple looked a lot smaller from the right side of it. <laughs> I don't remember this uh being this big. Oh, Satoshi's also Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I think you were a little too sneaky. You were kind of slow. Oh, sorry. Just tiptoeing. Yeah. Tiptoe. Well, tiptoe a little faster. <laughs> the tippying and the tapping. Yeah, that's sorry. more like it. Peaches does grumble every now and then when, like, uh, Satoshi tries to go faster. But then, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, baby, it's okay. And then, <laughs> then stops and then breaks a branch. <laughs> Here, have a branch. <laughs> Here, play with this. What, what's your vibe on this place, Lonico? What is my vibe on this place? <laughs> <laughs> roll magic inside. You wanna... I mean, does it look like I guess that's archaic. just a really old temple? Yeah, I mean, I this, it looks like this. this ruin looks ancient. Like, this is like even... This is older than anything you've ever seen before. Like you feel like this is like predates, uh, like like the stone crumbling way. Look, it, look, you almost like yeah, it predates the first Kotaka even if you could like just from like, yeah. I was looking gonna at say like does it look almost as old as that like statue of Sheen that was like a yeah. whole Sheen, yeah, and not split Sheen. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And as you get closer to it, Nico, you feel something lean on over on your shoulders. <laughs> and feel a presence clasp, clasp down, digging its claws into you. As I'm just gonna put something, I'd like put something. You, no one else can see this. Below you, feel this just loom over you. Um, give me a second. Uh, as I find the thing I want to put down, you just feel this Lonely loom no over you. Version two. What the fuck? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You can't see each Sam. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. okay. Oh, no, it didn't happen. But yeah, you just hear this slimy, sleazy, croaky voice that, like, just <laughs> with just utter disdain, just whisper to you, Are you the shaman that brought that wretched skyworm back to Kasakawa? As its talons just dig deeper, and you feel it, like, pinch and, like, pierce through your skin as it digs. Waiting for Monique to make like a little grunt <laughs> and then like try and turn around to see if she can see it. As you go to turn, you all see like this bird just like perched on her shoulder. And then as you turn, Lonico, you you feel its claws unlike latch from you and then just fly away. These fucking crows, goddammit! And I like everywhere. back it away a little bit, like not knowing what happened. <laughs> Lonico? She's like gonna just take a couple of steps back and like almost shrink in a little bit to herself. And you can take one damage from that. <laughs> you okay, Lonico? That bird was creepy. It. I. Um. It's okay. I don't like the spooky birds either. And can I like pat her on the head? Even though we're probably oh, yeah, the same. <laughs> yeah, you, I think she might be a bit taller than you. I reached out. There, there. It's okay. Um, but yeah, as you get closer and like look at the uh, as like that, as you look look at how the stone looks, like you, the runes are just made with this black slick stone, with carvings that depict like uh, various types of birds. Um, that like only can really be deciphered when the light hits the stone, uh, in like the large bricks that like make up these carvings, and like. As you just like just take it all in, it is a mess of a ruin. A time has destroyed what could have been high grand walls, uh, pillars that like were once there have crumbled away. Uh, the trees that are growing within have like just rotted and like there's no like the leaves on them have all just like fallen to the ground. They've like de decomposed to the state where like this tree doesn't couldn't grow anymore. Um, and like yeah, like this place is just it's been old and battered by time. And even like the Tory Gate and the uh, Kawainu statues um, have like looked to have like just been just ruined by age as well. I'm 
a bit concerned. Um, and it's not necessarily the raven that concerns me, although that did kind of hurt. It's more what's behind the ravens. Thing behind the ravens? I didn't well, see anything. Uh, Polly, I I don't want to uh, concern you, but um, <laughs> oh no, we all had we all had a dream um, before coming into the forest of like ravens and stuff and being summoned here by old Voltani. And oh. this this um, I don't think they're happy with me if that was them talking to me, um. There is some concern. Yeah. Um, so, like, uh, hmm, this isn't easy to explain, but basically, I got, like, possessed. Um, oh, I don't think that was something that could happen. <laughs> yeah, well, well, well I mean, no, my crazy. my soul was summoned to the oh. world to do shaman things, and um, my body got possessed, and that was a whole thing. But the point is, before my soul was summoned, there was this big um, red dragon lightning in the sky flew over here, and oh, I guess um, old Ortani doesn't like them because they came to the island. I don't think it had anything to do with me in particular. Um, I mean, I saw it, but I... <laughs> Oh, I also yeah. heard my parents' voices, which was a little bit concerning, but old Altani wants to meet me, and I don't think it's for a good reason anymore. You're in trouble. Uh, but I guess this is the only way through, so <laughs> she just, like, was a <laughs> Like a really fake, like, she just, like, moves her arm, like, yay! <laughs> Uh, you got this, well. buddy. <laughs> like, out of the, like, the Bougainville bush, you see Garden just mimic, raising its arms, and puts him back into its bush. Uh, what should we do? That's the end of the sentence. <laughs> Good sentence. Yeah, thank you. I, I, I guess we have to just press on. I mean, like, I, I would personally be okay with looking for an alternative route, but if this is the fastest solution, then maybe it's the best one. Well, maybe we can at least keep an eye out for um, the spooky birds, and I guess keep them away from Lonico as best yeah, as like we keep, can. Keep Lonico in the middle. Yeah, protection squad! As much as I'd also like to go another way around, I'm, apart from all these dreams and all these crows, I don't think Old Otani would give up, or let us, I suppose. So in we go! Alright, let's Words do this. And upwards. <clears throat> and if you all just stop there for a second. Oh, oh. god. <laughs> What's that big shadow? <laughs> <laughs> that big shadow is the trees, by the way, and I'll get to that in a oh, second. Okay. As it got really dark. And the lights there. off. It did. As you get in, where's my dancing lights? I can't see. Before you do anything, uh, just give me a second. Uh, la, 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 if I find the thing, you just what the fuck? You just hear the stones moving all around you as this place is coming down as the complete opposite actually as you see as you cross the threshold you see the stones all just form back in on themselves and create grand high walls and the tree even starts growing again creating um the same uh, orange pink and purples outside um growing into a lush into a lush tree again but like there is still a bit of rubble here and then like broken trees 
and stuff, but like the walls have rebuilt themselves back into this grand ancient temple. And uh, as like it grows above you, you stop seeing how high it gets because it's just that high. And darkness just caves in on you. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. Can I cast Dancing Lights, please? You, you can, uh, <laughs> <laughs> As a Toshi also gets spooked when they I want to put him inside. Uh. Give me a second. As as you're casting dancing lights, you see in the corner of your eyes these shadows. Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. Oh God. <laughs> Anything but him. You like perfectly quoted it. You're like out of the corner <laughs> of your eye. You spot him. <laughs> you just see these shadows just forming uh, out of nothing. And could someone roll for me a d4, please? D4 yeah. on it. Somebody or like anybody? Like any, anybody roll me a d4. All right. Is it slash letter? Slash r uh, space d4. Yeah. Perfect. Three. Perfect, we both got three. Holy crap. <laughs> as This place is spooky. As Lone Nico creates the dancing lights, you see this, them all like, kind of converge in on themselves, creating this one grand shadow of Randall. What? And then, like, the walls all just project the same shadow uh, of, Ran uh, of Randall. And as you guys are moving, you see this other shadow take uh, take uh, the form of another short cape, a short kobold wearing a cape and a horned hat following closely by behind you as they return to your own shadows. I like turn around very quickly to see if there's someone following me like Zilla? No one. There's no one there. Hmm. Strange. Sorry about that. Um. And do we do we all notice that like we've all noticed this thing? Yeah. If you see a sh if you see it, you 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 notice it. You just see these shadows peering around, all like in the darkness, and looking at you all. Mm. But they stay away from the light. As it gets closer. Well, uh, are we not alarmed by the uh, the temple? How it was, and then it, uh, and now it's, and now we're here. Um, are we not gonna acknowledge that? This place is from before she and split into, well, before. I guess it's well. So old, uh, and there's clearly a lot going on. Might be uh, a little bit of an understatement. <laughs> I learned long ago that when magic things happen like this, you just kind of let it go. Roll with it. Okay, I could do that. I'm. I can. I'm. I can roll. I. Okay, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> We'll Polly get through this, Polly. <laughs> yeah, I like squat down in a ball. <laughs> Everything okay there, Polly? Satoshi asks, holding the baby close. Yeah, doing real great. We'll get That's through this, crazy. Polly. Don't worry. It just stay around us, I guess. And you know, before, before, roll, Polly. <laughs> All right. before I left the village, I, Satoshi just I didn't think her. any of this. <laughs> was possible and now it's all happening at the same time um so that's real fun and good real fun and good i'll keep a light close to you Bob. thank you The shadows just keep moving further away. Oh, to... God. Okay.
But as you see, can you all roll me a D th or someone roll me a D four, please? I can. <clears throat> Two. Two. As you are making your way further up, you see more shadows forming. And mm. they all converge to make the silhouette of Rocky. And Whoa. you see two people that go reach down and pick up a baby. Looking around mm -hmm. and then run away from your shadow. And two more shadows have joined you all following around behind you. Um, I know this might be a personal question, but, um, Randall, your shadow, the little one, you know who it was a shadow of? I have uh, my an assumption on who it could be but i uh and he, like he's saying this his eyes are like super wide and just like frightened right now just like i don't i don't know if i want to really discuss it right now in, in this dark space uh, like, i'm just gonna create like a little like a i don't know if you guys can see that circle yes i can't make circle. it any less like Human. Oh, okay, okay, I can, I can see. But I'm just going to use it as, like, a way to, like, see what's within the, uh, the light you guys are creating. Because these things, these shadows do not want to stay in. Uh, you don't have to go any details, Randall, but, um, what was your relation to this person? Oh, they were a friend of mine back in... My, my pirating days before I was in Kasakawa. Pirate? Oh, you think this accent just comes naturally? Like, this is what I get <laughs> I got from pirating. I went to pirate school, you know. <laughs> you know, you got hard for the idea. Polly's just, like, staring at, at you with a whole new light. Like, wow, that's really sick. I got that's a pirate awesome. hat. I got a pirate sword. I look. I, I got. Yeah. I looked apart. I want a pirate hat. That's awesome. I like step back a little bit. <laughs> like, <laughs> this one's mine. Not like I could reach it, anyways. <laughs> Just give me a second, though. So like, I'm just changing the colors of these lights. But why do you ask, Lord Nico? Oh, uh, just for curiosity's sake, we never know what will happen when weird shadows appear on the walls, out of nowhere, in an old temple. That's all. And yeah, what about yours, Rocky? What do you think yours were? Um, not really. I, I have no idea. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I, I I don't know. That's just about it. The shadows. Normally do that. <laughs> and I like side eye them. Like, I'm watching you. Let's keep let's keep this moving buffet going then. Yeah, they, they they do they do their best to stay out of your out of your light, Lonico. And can you guys see that up ahead? I don't think you guys can. Mm, no. Mm, not really. No. There's some kind of entrance. It's just awesome darkness. Stairs. Do, does Lonico's dancing light not like show light for anyone? They're not showing a huge amount. Let's fix that. Yeah, they're following. Is that better? 
Yes. Yes, that is a lot better so far. Is that a glowing arrow? Those are just a, those are just to point the direction of the stairs that we go. I see. Yes, me and me and Lo-Fi Boy noticed those earlier. Polly never learned how to walk upstairs. <laughs> yeah, that, that, those stairs just go down. So this is an incline going up, and you can see the water on the sides create like waterfalls as your dancing lights just glisten. And yeah, Polly walked up backwards. <laughs> this one rushes out of the light as soon as like it realizes the light's been caught. I should get some torches on me, really. If you want to light a torch, you can. I don't think I actually have any or something. Oh, yeah, you, you lost all your torches. I think I equipped some. I have a, I have a candle. You don't have a candle? Do I have torches? Yeah, the best I have is a candle. Hmm. You can light that candle if you want to. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll light the candle. I don't know if- I don't know how much light a candle's gonna give me, but I'll do it. I'll give it 20 feet for you. 20 feet? Okay. What? Like, what? Is that bad or good? I don't know. I mean, I feel like if I lit one candle in a room, like, I'd- like, I'd be walking around scared shitless still, you know what I mean? I mean, aren't you right now walking scared shitless? But yes. It's pretty scary. But I don't think it would be, like, 20 feet. I think that's crazy. Ah, that's fine. Maybe I'm playing too fine. much, like, amnesia. Too many ghost games. What is that? Uh, there's a thing. Oh yeah, you, you see a skeleton just on the ground. Like a, just an old dead corpse that's rotted away years ago. This is just like, this is like, there's no flesh or anything to this. It's just old pile of bones. And this thing, Polly, you see up ahead. This is some strange contraption and it reflects the light when you guys are shining a light on it. It looks like a turtle. Oh no. Like, and like it's reflecting your light, and as it reflects your light, like you see the shadows <laughs> scatter. That, Ooh. That swirling around. Hey guys, I found um a turtle. turtle? It's a weird like sh uh like it's a a weird glass uh raven is the way I would describe it. That kind of like on the back is like painted black, but on the inside it is reflective silver. Uh, and it just shines uh. a, your light back at you. And you can see something like a strange swiveling mechanic. Ooh. Uh, do you guys think we could use this to light the place up? I, I, I looked at everyone else pretty much. <laughs> Rocky, could you roll me a perception check? Roll a perception check? Mm hmm. Okay. Magic temple stuff ain't my wheelhouse, to be honest. A ten. <laughs> you just turn around. You just see like what? You just see a shadow there for a second, and then it's gone. Huh. That's what you see with your perception. Okay. These shadows scatter. Mm. Graham. Get. <laughs> Get. Stupid shadows. Yeah. Stupid shadows. <laughs> Tricks are for kids. I like the. What's this? thing what is, this? <laughs> is a like it's like a raised platform it comes up to like your um like your abdomen it's almost as tall as low nico uh <laughs> actually how short is like how short is three feet she's four feet isn't she she's four foot never mind it's as tall as it's as tall as polly and like it's got like a candle on the inside of it i don't really uh, think i'm short people i haven't uh being a short person myself apparently I mean, I'm, I'm six foot, so I'm good. That's <laughs> like four two, dude. Shut your mouth. <laughs> I guess we could try to light it. Anybody got a a light? I got Lodico just Lodico just creates a flame in her hand. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, that's Four a nice. Works, I guess. Yeah. Toasty. 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 As you create that light, <laughs> could you roll me a D? Uh, everyone, someone roll me a D four, please. Two. What do you want to do that light before I before I describe these shadows? Um, 
I mean, as long as everyone else is chill, I will light the candle in the thing. Light would it you, up. Would you move it towards you? Because to it, it can twist. It can like it's on this like a plate that spins. If not, you um, just, like, light in. she'd probably just go and stand in front of it. No Rather than try to move it. As soon as it lights up, all your lights disappear. Oh, shit, that's Satoshi. Satoshi's the light within. <laughs> <laughs> all just your lights mind. disappear, except for the ones like, uh, like around your person, just your magical lights all disappear. And the shadows rush in. But the candle in the middle is lit. Oh, can I recreate my lights? <laughs> you can. Do they stick around? <laughs> Roll me a deck save just to see if you're faster than the shadow. Uh, you are not faster than the shadow. <laughs> As from the light of create the produced flame that you made, uh, there's another shadow that like centers on Rocky. Um, mm. as this shadow is you for a moment, but then it suddenly takes on a skeletal presence that grows larger and larger, and it just begins to loom higher and higher over you, and then it becomes a hand that hovers over you, and just stays there as all the other shadows swirl around you, and then a shadow leaps from the ceiling down on you. You are all in combat, and they are going to attack. Okay, dokie, yeah, that's okay. So this one's gonna attack you, uh, Rocky. Yeah, right, wait. Rocky. Uh, is my tank still 16, or is that back to? It uh, is less still than an hour. Yeah, so you've been, you've been less than an hour in here. So it's still 16. I'm gonna change the music okay. to combat music because you guys are fighting these shadows now. Really? I'll fight you, Jacob. <laughs> okay. Are you a shadow? No, you are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well said. Yeah. <laughs> I got an English degree. You do? Yeah. Uh huh. Sure you do. What do you believe? In? Uh. Well, you live in the UK, so degrees don't matter there. So. I'm just saying that music would be fucking useless. Yeah. The first oh. one to attack, a uh, Rocky. This one to attack you, Rando. Miss. The next one's gonna attack Polly. And these two oh, are gonna attack no. Lonico. Oh! <laughs> oh! Alright, so here's uh, Rocky. Uh, you miss. Uh, Randall, that one misses. Polly, what's your AC? Uh, I just said it earlier, but I have forgotten. It is 14. You are hit then? No. <clears throat> Ignore that little extra bit. That's. I don't like that. Uh, and then this one's gonna hit low, Nico. What's your other AC? Uh, 18. 18. Then you are fine. Um, Polly, you take 9 necrotic damage, and uh, low, Nico, you take 8 necrotic damage as they just they all reach and uh, grab at you. Um, and when they, um, when they, sp specifically you, low, Nico, you can feel there is a lot of malice behind these attacks as they start just clawing at you and uh, grasping at you, trying to grasp at your shoulders. Uh, and uh, you just feel like them just pouring malice into you, and you just it like almost feels like birds fluttering at you as they just um, like their wings flapping and slapping into you. Um, mm. Yeah, it is the end of their turn, and they are gonna do another because it's uh, what's it popcorn initiative? They get to do what they want. So this is same thing, Rocky, Randall. Damn it! Polly. And then Lil Nico. Toot. Five. This one, instead of draining you, it kind of like slips through you, Rocky. And it doesn't realize that it's like now just like in your space. This one on Randall. You take seven necrotic damage as you just feel its uh, clutches on you. Uh, 17 on Polly. That's 11 damage to Polly. And then 12 damage to Lonico. There you are. As they just keep just trying to just claw and um, 
just drag and just like tear at you with their malice and the evil that is pouring out of their bodies. Um, they're going to pass their turn over to Satoshi because they're in the back. Not realizing that he is a monk. He's going to rush in. And what? <laughs> Where is Satoshi? My health bar on my token isn't updating, but my health is. Is it 37? Um, it is on my sheet and stuff, just not on yeah. the it health is, bar above my head. It is for me. I think you either might, might need to reset. Uh, it could just be being weird uh, for you. Yeah, my health bar still says 13 from earlier, so... <clears throat> Yours says 61 out of 61 for me. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I, I know, I see on stream that it's correct, but for me it just says it's yeah, weird. Yeah, it should be weird. it's just some weird roll 20 thing. Yeah, it's roll 20 being a gl <laughs> weird glitch right now. But yeah, when uh, Satoshi punches, you feel the shadows kind of like break, but then they swirl away from his hand. So he, and uh, you just see him kind of slip it. Oh, oh, oh boy. And then kind of like wobble forward for a second. As, um... They're going to end their turn there. Actually, yeah, they're going to end their turn there. After um, punching at this one shadow and like kind of like just falling through it for a second. Um, and they're going to pass their turn over to Randall. Oh, Randall, you're resistant, you're resistant to necrotic damage, aren't you? Oh, shit, I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, am I? Is you that are like that, the thing? that skull, yeah. So you get, I'm going to say, three hit points back. Damn, baby! <laughs> yeah, keep an eye on that one. Okay, uh, I'm going to reaction early, pretty much just strike at this one that's on Rocky. Mm -hmm. Please. Oh, thank 17 God. 17 okay, hits. Crap. And then that has sneak attack on it as well. As it, like, oh, just pushes okay. through Rocky, and you, I was just cut at it. You, you do cut a bit into it, but then your your sword just glides through it, and you feel like you see feathers, like shadowy feathers, wisp and break off of it. As you only deal, not as much damage as you think you did. Perfect. <laughs> and I will pass my. Or actually, I'll be like <laughs> panicked. Like I don't think that we're gonna be able to do that much in this fight unless we have some magic. So. Hello, Nico. Do your best. <laughs> and I'll pass my turn to Lodico. With advantage, I guess, on, like, the first whatever. <laughs> the first whatever. Um, whatever happens. Did um, Randall's candle go out? Randall's candle? No, he's kind of still there. But, like, this light isn't uh, stopping them. Randall's kind of light won't stop them. He should own a, he should own a candle shop called Randall's Candles. But keep in mind, this is a candle, so it's going to go out in like two seconds with all this action. <laughs> Good point. Like roll, me a de roll me a deck save for any, any movement. Every right, time you right, move. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> oh, you stupid bitch! Sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to say you're fine. The candle is like, it, it almost splutters out, but it's still, it's just still lingers. It just... Yeah, like it's definitely fluttering for sure yeah. right now, but it's like I'm desperately trying to hold. I kind of wish I had my camera on right now, cause like just like if you guys could watch like me just trying to like act out what the fire is doing, it's hilarious. Just like I'm just like I can like I'm pro I'm astral projecting to watch myself do this is hilarious. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna try and cast dancing lights. <laughs> Go ahead, we casting it. Um, I can summon. Five of them, or one really oh, big one. Oh shit, boy! <laughs> um, no, four of them. Sorry, Not five of Norris. them. Four of them. So I'm just gonna. Uh, don't put fill. him. In... Actually, put him oh. down, uh, and then I'm gonna just like put them on the. I'm gonna copy this one that I've got because like that's got all the presets I wanted. Okay. So if you want to put them where you want to put them, or ping where you want to put them. Their eyes have gone red, and that's kind of fucking cool. <laughs> you just see them all just, like, shriek and shudder. And then suddenly, like, the light kind of reflecting in all directions on them changes their forms. As I am going to put down... 
A swarm of ravens. Ah, f the birds. Yeah. Anything else you want to do, Lonika? As your fire just summons uh, and just erupting, it caught like it causes all the shadows to just explode into a burst of feathers, revealing their true form. Um. <laughs> I will give a bardic inspiration. Uh, who's been? Uh, just Randall. Just Randall. And Satoshi. And Satoshi. I, I will. I will say with your no? with that advantage that Randall gave you, I'm gonna let one like you're gonna like with the just eruption of your lights, one of the swarms is gone. Oh. I will pass that over. I will pass my turn to Polly, and I will give the bardic inspiration uh, to uh, Rocky's ready to go. Actually, I think Rocky's is gone because they only last a minute. I think. Yeah. Um. So I'll re-give one to Rocky. <laughs> nice. But I'm gonna pass my turn to to Polly. Thank you, ma'am. Get out! Um, of here. Hey, 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 get, go. <laughs> <laughs> Would more light help here? I would, but I also hurt. <laughs> I have gonna like color <laughs> spray. Is that light color spray? The color spray is damage, I believe. Ooh. Color okay. spray. Dancing light and light uh, or any fire spell will create a light. dazzling. Holly uh, pulls out like a paintball gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, that sounds like the craziest spell I've ever heard. <laughs> it's it's a real thing. Uh, yeah. Sounds like you had to be tripping balls on like. On shrooms to make oh, it's colored light, so it is a bit light. I will allow it to... Uh, is it... What damage does it do? 60, um, 10. What the... What is this? <laughs> right, it's a level... It's I a want to do this. Do that, for <laughs> sure. Oh, no. Do this. oh, no, it's it's bullshit. It's like fucking sleep. Roll 60, <laughs> 10. The total is how many points of creatures this spell can affect. The so creature... it blinds them. You want to blind them? I'm gonna blind the heck out of these bad boys. <laughs> They're gonna never see again. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, are they, are they bats or are they They're ravens? They're ravens. Oh, okay, okay. No, they can't <laughs> so, echolocate. We're good. I was supposed to be like, we're <laughs> already kind of blind. We're in trouble. It is a cone, so like, if you wanted to, like, if you pointed in this direction, you'd be able to get these two. But, like, you wouldn't get, like, yeah. Like, or if you turn around and hit these guys, you get these ones behind you. Cones are weird. And uh, you can, and you can hit just... me, and, me and Rocky for yeah. a fun time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to point away from oh. Rocky and them because I don't want to accidentally blind them no as well. Romy, 60 times. Um, <laughs> Slash uh, space D, uh, 6 D10. Uh, so, uh, hold on. Uh, <laughs> no, you're all good, you're all good. Uh, uh, sorry, what did you... <laughs> Slash uh, spa uh, space 6d10. <laughs> Just look at the aggressive typing as well. Oh, look at oh, all the dice. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Like, you blinded all of them. Get blinded, the suckers! These ones are all blind. Um, now what? That's horrifying. That object. <laughs> the eye. <laughs> the eye. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, so you all, everyone has advantage on hitting these ones here. But you now have a bonus action and your movement to do if you want to do anything. Uh, okay. Bonus action. Uh... Sorry, I forget what I can do on bonus action. Uh, if you see on your sheet there's something that has, like, if it has a BA, you can do your own thing. Okay. A bachelor's in arts? <laughs> yeah, I went to school for four years, and now I can cast Healing Word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, for legal reasons, I'll I... allow like, you to be able to cast a spell in the bonus section. I think I allow that normally anyway. Legal reasons? What? Legal reasons? What? <laughs> no, it's just in case someone rules lawyers me. I'm going to break their legs. Okay. Uh, I think I, actually... I'm pretty sure I allow that. So you can oh oh shit. Hidden step. 
Could I be invisible? Yeah, of course. You guys just see Polly spray. What? Do, what? Can you describe what Polly. your sprayer color looks Polly. like? <laughs> so I I shoot out basically like a cone of fireworks from my hands, and I'm like looking away. I'm like. <laughs> you know, like, I don't want to look at these birds. I hate these birds. And then after the flash, I'm just gone. Because it's also a spray of light, they are going to take a bit of damage from that as well. Because they do not like the light at all. But yeah, and that's, uh, with that flash, Polly just poof, gone. Poof. She gone. And mm. I guess for my movement, I'm just going to step back a bit. Go ahead. Where have I gone? I put you in the wall, to be fair. Oh, you. I have disappeared. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. I can be in a wall. For uh, legal reasons, that... I would like to redact my statement where you can cast a spell as a one action and an action. <laughs> what are you laughing for? <laughs> uh, and I guess who hasn't gone yet? Um, I haven't. The Shadows, I... Rocky, and Lo-Fi Boy. Passing it to you, uh, Rocky. I thought the Shadows went first, did it not? Yeah, they did. <laughs> <laughs> the so Shadows just, went uh, first and twice. I thought yeah, it was so slick. it's Rocky in uh, <clears throat> the garden, right? So, um... Yeah. I love how like you like you just all right like you guys have just accepted the garden. I think it's really cute. I mean, it's what the name is. Yeah, I don't know. True. Or their name is. They introduced uh, themselves. Okay, so I have a question. If I were to say walk right here, okay, hear me out. Yeah. Hear me out. Is the are the birds like are just near me? Or are they like inside me? Where that one's doing? those ones are flirting over you, but like you do have like because you, you're still focusing on them. I would like to move around them. If I were to sh shoot my uh, Eldritch Blast like this, you know, you see my arrow. I do see your arrow. Yes, would you're that right. Hit Randall. Would that hit Randall? No. Only if you roll low enough. <laughs> Okay. It explodes and you uh, had it killed Randall. Yeah, okay, so I want to shoot... I, do I get both of them then? Both sets of these? Uh, it, it's like a target spell. Isn't yeah, it? it's only one. It's the only one? Yeah. But if you... Oh. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your first if you roll high enough, I would... I Like, it is fucking cool. He's got a it's gun. A beam, it's a beam of light to shadows, and I'm yeah. just saying that... If no, if I would... And... The one to my right, I would be like, yeah, like, then you streamline through that shit if you roll high enough, but... Okay, well, I, I'm going either way. I for sure hitting this one. Um, if I if I you know kill it, then that's great. That's, that's a bonus. Uh, but I'm gonna uh, cast my Eldritch Blast because I'm what? going to assume that my sword will not do a lot. So, against <laughs> <laughs> the bird. Go ahead. <laughs> me just like swinging my sword. <laughs> yeah. And then roll um, me a deck I save as well. Enchant my sword. R roll a deck save. Uh, yeah. Do you want me to do it before my Eldritch Blast? No, no. Uh, yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. Dex save first. That is mm -hmm. a seven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beautiful. Lovely. Uh, and then now I'm going to do my Eldritch Blast. Uh, uh, 16 hit. That hits. Roll your damage. Sick. That is going to be... Oh, no. It's bludgeoning damage as well. Uh, so that's now, Dari, five force. Don't you worry. Bludgeon. Because with your Eldritch Cannon... You guys all feel the light diminish from Lonico's light uh, f uh, fires and the uh, the one that's on uh, on the candle. As once again, Rocky pulls out his ethereal. Uh, I was going to call it ethereal shotgun. His, I, uh, I pull out my. <laughs> can, I, can I say? Uh, on that would be annoying. Can I say that uh, uh, I pull out my ethereal uh, my my gun and um, it's a uh, it's like a midnight light, like a midnight color. Yeah, you just Sick. shoot the night sky at this at this one bird here. And they, it just completely explodes at just the force. And you guys all feel the world shake. I hope that like, was evil. As his Eldritch Blast just <laughs> rends them. It's okay, because don't worry, because like with your failed deck save, you also swivel this light this way. And this one just poof into like smoke and shadows. Gone. I'm confused. What do you mean I swivel the light? With that seven, you pushed the this this on the side. You you nudged it essentially as you move your decided yeah so see how there's like a light beam going to the right now like that yeah beam, yeah yeah, yeah. So that it, instead of going down it's going to the right now yeah okay i see it's like some legend of zelda puzzle stuff here thank you okay <laughs> <laughs> but yes anything else you want to do on your turn 
Uh, I don't think I can do much from bonus action. I actually... I would actually know. When, it's, when it moved, it would have destroyed the other one. Sorry, because of the way it spins. So yeah, you, you got rid of those two. One with, with that elder. So you did get what you wanted. Sorry. Okay. Um, sick. Then as a... As... As a bonus action, as part of my movement, am I able to twist this thing to point towards these other birds? I will allow it. <laughs> I want to move it towards... Uh, I'll move it to the this set of birds over here. Because I think, uh, I mean, Lonika is kind of standing in the way of the other ones. So She is. She casts a huge shadow on protecting her. <laughs> way to go. Way to work on the evil team, Lonico. No, no. <laughs> Lonico half dying like <laughs> Once again. <laughs> Duck. Crane. The crows. Oh, I not oh duck. right. My bad. I thought I saw a duck. <laughs> yeah, she creates we would be dead meat if there was a duck. Uh, and that's going to be the end of my turn. I'm going to uh, pass it to uh, the garden. The garden is just gonna come over and smack the. Oh, it's Sam. Sam's playing the garden. Sorry, my mistake. No, it's all good. He's gonna do that and then great axe him. Yeah, we've got a great axe for me. Roll your damage. 17. Live to win! Like, good God. lord, man. It feels so powerful. Yeah, he is. He's a hefty boy. It's a barbarian. Yeah, he, you destroy <laughs> them. I should really try to get good with these things. You destroy. Oh, you don't like playing barbarians? Oh, if I'm I knew, I would have knew no one to give it to someone else. Sorry, my mistake, lad. But yeah. Um, with that, uh, with those gone. Um, can someone, Lonely Co, can you roll me a T four, please? What you get? Uh. As like the fight comes to an end, you see. Oh, the, the music still, still call it music. Sorry, not music, guys. Let me fix that. Perfect time. Ah, oh, I thought it finished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah. As like the shadows converge over everyone, um, they once again take spotlight on Rocky, and. The shadow this time takes the form of six other shadows along with Rocky Shadow on a boat. And then oh suddenly Lord. an explosive shadow forms. And oh. Randall's shadow is falling from the ceiling. And in the aftermath of that shadow, uh, you see seven shadows around you. Staying out of your sh out of your light. They all were? <laughs> They're around you, just staying out of the light that you guys have created. I'll put him in the light for you guys. Oh! Getting raided. Oh, again? Hello. Oh! 19. Yeah. Oh, shit! Yeah, Mark, Marky Gaming. Hello, Marky Gaming. What up? Welcome. Instead of, uh, you see 19 other shadows around you. <laughs> oh, good <There's> lord. <laughs> Too many shadows. But these ones... <coughs> don't look as threatening as the ones that have, like, have just formed out of the uh, explosion uh, shadow. These ones look a bit more friendly. Little tiny little uh, shadows of like leaves and other like plant spirits just circling around and they just take uh, cover underneath the uh, candle that you've lit at the center of this plinth. Thank you for the raid marquee gaming. I hope you guys enjoyed your stream and also hello Scarlet. How you doing? Hello everyone. How is your stream? Tell me how your things went, and we're going to continue going. Um, yes. Sorry, so you've got these shadows around you. What are you going to do? Well, they're your shadows, buddy. Um, can you, like, uh, <laughs> talk to them? I'm also still invisible, so I realize... There's. I'm speaking from nowhere. <laughs> Actually, I think you you would have just reappeared. I pop back Polly into it. Come out of the shadows. With a little. Polly has returned. Duh. Hi guys. Sorry about that. I got scared. Recently. So how about these uh, shadows, eh? 
Yeah, um... I'm at a loss for words here, words here, folks. Usually I'm on top of these plans as the mastermind, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know either. This might be on you, Rocky. Might be on me. Like, like Polly said, they're your shadows. No, these, these are Randall's shadows. Sorry, my mistake. Oh, they're my shadows? Oh, yeah, sorry. sorry. I think you said Rocky. I might have misheard. I might have meant, Rand might have meant Randall. Um, when you move, when you're moving the lights, these ones try to like go near this one, but they keep getting pushed back by it. This one here, it's like created by, and they just hiss as they try to stay out of the light you guys are creating. The light on the candle in the middle. Yes. Am I able to make it bigger? No. Can I just like wiggle the platform from side to side? <laughs> Give me it. Of course. So we're gonna do that. Are you just like trying to get as many as you can? Yeah. <laughs> you are able to get these three over here and the ones down here, but the ones on this side cannot be destroyed because of R Randall. Shadow blocks them, and Poppy's, I mean Polly's, and Rocky's shadow also block them. Well, hold on here, folks, hold on. <laughs> Just get out of the way. Um, <laughs> no, wait, how does I, my, sh I'm short, how does my shadow block it? This thing is like, over my head. It is, it's true, you're right. <laughs> you did say First that. Fall, I don't little. know if I want to be, now that I know that these shadows might be something Even kind of special, is it wise to be destroying them like we are? Well... I oh. mean, also chat. I know. Uh, sorry, talking? sorry. Go on, go on, Polly. You could try. I mean, it, I mean, you're welcome to try talking to them if you want to, but I don't want to be beaten up by birds again. Wait. So, uh, lo, lo, Nico, go, could, go you, could you potentially pull pull these lights back a little bit? Uh, sure. And, and also, c can we pivot that? The, the, this thing's beaming me in the chest here. And it's <laughs> it's hurting some fears. <laughs> I will also note, chat, you guys are able to use your channel point redemptions to help or hinder the party. If, if you wish. <laughs> Come on, man. Please. Help. Your only help. option is to help. Only, help. He only said help. <laughs> yeah, you uh, misread it's... the second part. Look yeah, up hindrance talking... in the dictionary. You will not find that word. It doesn't exist. He's trying to come up the Hindenburg. Uh, so, what? like. <laughs> <laughs> so, why exactly do you want to do a rando again? I just kind of want to, like. Not. I don't. Offer myself sounds like a weird word. But I just kind of <laughs> want to, like, extend myself to these shadows and say, like, hello, like, my friends? Or. Are you going to reach out to this one? I'll reach out. They both reach out to you. Oh, you bastards. <laughs> Man, they both miss like They both reject you, just pull back. And you just see them snarl at you. And, okay, pivot the thing, pivot the thing, I'm sorry, I messed up. Because <laughs> he goes Blast to block them. it. This one's destroyed. You're in the way. <laughs> that one's destroyed by the light. And the, these ones rush away, this one. Somebody get on this thing like a minigun. Like, start <laughs> pivot. You me, let me, let me give you, I should give you guys control to it, to be fair. I can't do that. Which way is you want to turn it? you want to turn it towards this one? I just kind of want to, like, start obliterating this entire hallway. Yeah, yeah you, just, <laughs> you just wiggle it around. Just wiggle it back and forth. Destroying all the shadows. <laughs> this light over here doesn't exist anymore. So like, um, it's going to be a lot of me turning on and off lights over here. So, uh, so yeah, never mind. They are not our friends. I'm sorry that I had that thought. It's okay, you try. I got a little emotional when I saw when I saw my shadows. I'm oh! not gonna lie. What Whoa. happened? Whoa. Whoa. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Who turned on the Death Star laser? Jesus. <laughs> sorry, guys. Holy butt. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. <laughs> yeah. Shio and a handbag man. That's a good, I like that one. That's good. <laughs> I'm writing that Great down. Great, 
So, uh, did we do it? Are they gone? Those shadows are all gone. The ones that were like with Serenity for that moment. Those shadows. But, I don't like the way you said oh. those shadows. <laughs> oh, what, what? Folks, I don't know if. Uh, okay, from my keen eyes. I, I think we're hitting another thing down the hallway, and it's causing another like. You do see it's lightning. You do see that. Should we check it out? I knew all the Legend of Zelda hours would come in handy. What's that? <laughs> oh, it's actually a very popular uh, comic series I've been reading. Uh, Let me write it down in the lore. <laughs> comics, ex <laughs> if it helps, Polly comics do exist. <laughs> Polly's so, just Polly's bad. never. Yeah, she's never seen a comic in her entire life. <laughs> I'm trying to collect the entire series, if I'm being honest. Mm. Have you heard of Fifty Scales of Grey, by honest? By chance. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing Polly knows. Because I'm looking for the other volumes of that series, and I've only got the first two. Oh, I can hook you up. <laughs> well, maybe when we get into town. Yeah. yeah. I, will I don't also, know how to read it, but... The water, the canal, is shallow. So if you guys wanted to step in it, you could. Well, I guess... We can oh, step step. It looks raging. It streams downwards, but it's not that like aggressive. Polly gets taken guy. away. No! <laughs> that was... <laughs> She's gone. Let me write that's like that. I wanna clip that. <laughs> Your reaction was so fucking raw. Polly. It's kinda of refreshing. Can I shape water my way across? <laughs> you can. <laughs> You part the sea like Lo Nico does. <laughs> Low Moses over here. Low Moses. This water's probably up to my hips. <laughs> it's pretty high. Gonna trudge through this. Could um, <laughs> could Rocky, you roll me a D4, please? Absolutely not. <clears throat> Do we want to keep my light? More of that? <laughs> yes. <gasps> I think the lights are very helpful. Uh, sorry, bless me. Three. Mm -hmm. Not a fan. Not a fan. What that means? As you guys are making your way again through, you see mm -hmm. another set of shadows for. And these shadows show four people mining downwards as or like further into a tunnel. And after they reach a certain point and like pass through another like a like a wall, they become five people walking through water. And you now have nine shadows around you. On top of the ones that were already around you guys. So we could ask them politely to leave. This is an emotion. This temple is an emotional toll on me, and I would like to just leave this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just please keep moving. Like I'm not even acknowledging that. We're just gonna keep going. It's fine. Me, mm -hmm. you guys are able to move like as fast as you guys want through the dun the dungeon. Like a fast walk for sure. This oh, is the worst. As oh, jeez. <laughs> as you guys are, uh, as you get into this room, you see a sarcophagus with a very ornately designed humanoid creature. Um, Emb is embossed the word? Uh, carved into the stone uh, platform. Um, of a very elegant looking androgynous um, I won't say, like, we're going to say elf. <laughs> not, not what we're going to say. I can say that's, it's my world. It looks like an elf. Um, but you can notice that like their feet are like that of um, a bird's. And they like these patterns of like uh, wings and birds surround them. Um, that um, add detail uh, along with like floral detailing. 
I'll be honest here, folks. I am having to resist the urge uh, to go back to my piracy days where we would raid two <gasps> and take loot. I, I, I want to touch it. I want to touch it. Dead body. These shadows are trying to like. You can see them struggling to like trying to find a corner, but like luckily there's this one broken uh, corridor that they have to step through. I want to touch it. I'm putting my hand on it. Oh, good lord. Oh no. Is there anything magical do about I this? Do I, do I die? Do I die? Can if you'd like. Uh, Satoshi yeah. rushes for you guys also because I've got to move the tokens. So nothing happened when I touch it? Nope, something does happen. I'll get to that in a second. Okay. <clears throat> there is a very old ancient magic emanating off the sarcophagus. And when you touch it, Rocky, <laughs> you see a shadowy <laughs> hand grasp out. Oh. And then you Howdy can... there. This shadow takes a form of... It splits off on each wall into the shadow of Moran, Kano, Taya, and Randall. Oh. All surrounding you. Randall. And then it diminishes. Yes, I'm right here. As so, you sorry, take... Shadow of Randall. That's going to be two... You take 2d10 psychic damage. What was that, what's that 10 for? <laughs> Why'd you roll a 10? Oh, sorry. Thing, huh? I was meant to say do 2d10. Sorry, my mistake. Sorry, that's on me. No, no, no. I was, I'm just upset that you rolled a 10 out of your... <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so I took 13 damage. <laughs> yeah, you take 13 damage from that. It's like they just... As you feel those shadows just like... Just <laughs> plunge into your soul and like just... Devastate you like to your core in that moment. Um, how... Mr. Randall, I don't feel so good. <laughs> As the oh, shadows struggle to try to get to the light, this one just gets destroyed, trying to get out of the light. These good. ones keep going. Okay. Uh, did I, did I, my hand get removed from the the the? the yeah, you can pull thing. it away if you want to. It's it's on you. Yeah, I'm that touching gets, it. That's gone. You're, you're still I don't touching take it. any more damage. Yeah, I'm not taking any more damage, right? Yeah, once you let go, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't hurt you anymore. Well, well, well I if I still hold on to it, do I take continual damage or is it like a one time? It was, a one, it was a one-time thing. Okay. He just let go. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> but like... Absolutely not. I want to try to lift it. I want to try to open it. <laughs> I will also note you... Like, every, that's the wrong character. Give me a second, little Nikom. Sorry. Huh? You do see, like... Like, when you... There are, like, campfires you see lit in around the place. And you can just see, like, little... Like, you can see a few crows just circling around them. And when you let go of the sarcophagi, um, Randall, you hear... Rocky, sorry. It's because you got, like go. you got R's in your name. You didn't let go? You just hear... I didn't let go. <laughs> you just hear crows <laughs> cawing around you. And I can't. I don't know if like, they're sounding. They're not sounding to me. That one's yeah, I can hear them now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Perfect. You just hear crows cawing around you. As these shadows are like just struggling to stay out of your light and the, the radiant light that you guys have created from that candle. I want to... I want to... Wherever there's like a pocket of uh, shadows, I want to um, shoot an Eldritch Blast that way. Go ahead. Okay. Behind I, you, do I need a roll to hit? Yep. Like, I mean, like, okay. I will say Wait, with advantage with like, um, there's like, with advantage? if you can see a shadow. I can't see a shadow, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> oh, I see one over there. Okay. There's yeah, you, I you, see if one. you like, you get. I, I shoot. I will say you get advantage with Lone Nico's lights helping you aim. And without Arcani, like it's just ancient magic that you just can't seem to like shake, uh, Lone Nico. But you do hear old Otani's voice just echo um, in your ears asking about why did you bring Hakar Shai to, uh, to Kasakawa. That hits! Roll damage. Yeah. Dirty 20. Oh, almost max damage. Yeah, oh, one of the shadows just completely explodes. Wow, watch out! Can I like, <laughs> I'm just like hearing old Otani's voice, just like look around and just like out loud, be like, I didn't bring them here. <laughs> what, what do you say? <laughs> as you say, as what are you on about? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, as you just like shout that outwards and it, you hear your voice echo back through the chambers rocky are you still holding the sarcophagi i'm not letting go yep you see rocky uh rocky turn you your head turns 
towards My Lonica. Yes, your head turns to Lonica, and you just hear oh, you hear that that voice from Rocky um, as they just look at you. Give me a second. I gotta think about what to say. <laughs> oh, but you did with that sh annoying shamanic ritual of yours that, that you. Pain. Just you shamans bring so much pain. All your goblin worshipping. <laughs> She's just going to put her hands on her hips and be like, Goblin worshipping? Yes, what you... are you talking about? What are you on about? Not worshipping goblins. Goblins worshipping that dragon. Araki, you, you don't... You you try to speak, but you can't push the, the words out as what? this thing keeps speaking through Rocky. I am no goblin. And I didn't... I, I was helping spirits move on. There were no goblins involved. Then why do you worship a, go a goblin god? I don't. Rocky, you feel that voice uh, just let go of you. And you can turn your head back again. Oh, Rocky, uh, let go of that coffin. Uh, I, I, I want to try to open it. So bad. <laughs> you, can, you can try. <laughs> Roll strength. I can't. Okay, you can. Yeah, you, okay. you can. If anyone wants to help, hey. you will get advantage. Uh, I will absolutely. I didn't help. mean to roll advantage. Uh, my well, not one was my first roll. Well, <laughs> wait, Randall. did I get it, or did Randall help me? So I got advantage. Yeah, you got advantage. You got twenty three. So I got twenty three. Okay, cool. You Took crack you the sarcophagi open, <laughs> and you Randall just see... was waiting for an excuse to just get into this coffin and see if there's any loot. <clears throat> you see just this. Oh, a Tamagotchi. <laughs> <laughs> It is a void <laughs> within. What? Oh. An empty uh, void. But you like quick. Like when you say a void, do you mean like another dimension of no. this? No, no. It's just black. I want to Nothing. throw a rock down there. See what happens. When the rock drops in, okay. like not even a second goes as like it hits something and just ripples. Okay, and you so see your, like an endless void. You see your reflection looking back at you, Rocky, for a second. Hey, hot stuff. And then it shifts <laughs> to that skeletal being that you saw in your dreams. Oh. Can Luliko just go up behind them both and just pull them back, like, by the backs of their, like, shirts? <laughs> oh, okay. touch me, I am Satan. <laughs> oh, <my> <laughs> and Randall, are you looking in the Zor? I will, just before you do anything. Absolutely, yeah. You see, Randall, all those people that you wrote the names down on uh, on various <sighs> lists, looking back at you. <laughs> you killed him. <laughs> sorry, guys. No, it's okay. With the last my set, friends. with the last set being Moran, Taya, and uh, Kano, as you feel Lonico's arms just grasp onto both of you and pull you both back. Rocky, roll me a perception check. Oh my! I'm not good at perception. Okay, so you know this time. You see, for a hint of a moment, the reflection shift just before you get pulled away to that of the pink tiefling, um, with the crystal oh. bat. In the oh. looking back at you in your reflection. Wait, what? What? Then he goes away. I guess. Yeah, you get pulled away, away before like you even get to see, like, get to even like realize what's happened. Whoa, that was, uh, that was, um, break oh, I don't just... think you actually know her name. You, you never got, you never her name. My, my mom. Mm. <laughs> uh, there's a pink teeth with a bat. Kara? I, maybe, saying good as any name for me. Not... The one we met at the temple that everyone upset previously. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose so. That a lot of people, don't you? I mean, like we were saying, we're here. There's some old gods in that you and I'm just along for the ride. I know. Although Tani is mad at me, and I, I didn't do anything. I didn't summon the dragon. I'm just, it's just an observation. I, she like. <laughs> anyway, like both of you need to stop looking and kicks the dirt. coffins for old gods in a temple where shadows of 
previous loved ones are trying to kill us. Yeah, you actually killed the rock, man. Satoshi then just clutching Peaches towards it. Yeah, I think we should we should probably just get as fast out of here as we can. Yeah, we need go. to just find the way out. I didn't mean to step on it. <laughs> <laughs> you can, this also this climb over it. This other uh, mirrored raven is also just like the swimming uh, mechanic. I will also know. You notice. I want to point the light towards uh, the empty shadow places, kind of just like in a circle. Mm -hmm. If I can. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Let's just Sick. see how that light hits things. See if there's any other shadows I can take out. And then I put it back in its original spot. Um, you are almost able to destroy. Does everyone move out of the way for that? or? <laughs> yep. yep. You're able to clear house. All shadows gone. That you know of. I think we head towards where the light's <clears throat> pointing. That's pretty. Um, feels like a good direction to go. Well, I guess there isn't really another direction to go. Yeah, is this all like rubble that we can't get past? Randall? Perhaps the way out is through this coffin. Randall? I, that feels unsafe, man. <laughs> She's just gonna put her hands uh, in the <laughs> I'm gonna follow the light. Yeah, no, I don't no, wanna sure. go in the coffin juice. You wanna go in the coffin juice? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Ramble, can you roll me a d4, please, as well? A one. Excellent. <laughs> as you guys are continuing making your trip through the, the ruins, all the shadows create a spotlight on Lonico for a moment. And her shadow reveals Lucera hiding behind behind yours and it looks to be you both playing when you were children but eventually Lucera's shadow falls through the floor Lonika will like stop and watch it for a second and then when it falls through the floor she'll just like put her head down and yeah. keep walking when you s where like, you see that last sh the shadows fall, it is just behind you. You see these two shadows take the form of, like the form where you and the Sarah shadow were. Following and once again another like shallow pool. This one, this set of water is uh, moving to outwards. Um, I mean towards the center, but it is also shallow. So we can step step. Yep, you can step step. Who was that, Lonico? Uh, dip step in. Uh, that was Lucera. Mm -hmm. My friend. She started traveling with us, but she had to go and repair a hole in the world. Hmm. A hole in the world? Is that metaphorical yeah. or. Oh no, it's quite literal. And then she's oh. just gonna wade through the water. <laughs> oh, good. Good, 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 good. Come yeah. On. I wasn't there for her leaving part, but it seems like something she would do. Splish splash, I was taking a bang. bang. <laughs> As you hear the ravens call around this one campfire over here. I was going to say, yeah, because I was going to notice. Oh, there's a campfire. Light over here. Yeah, you do see a uh, flickering campfire. <laughs> oh, Satoshi's in the shadow. He's He just rushes following. Satoshi. <laughs> Satoshi. Yeah, Be careful, man. <laughs> Poor Polly, are you walking in that direction? Uh, oh, yeah, Polly. should I not? Roll deck save for me. <laughs> oh, no. Polly. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> me like shiny. <laughs> uh, and I definitely. Know it that is I'm... next to your. There you are. Well done. 22. Yeah, no, you're fine. You like kind of like to stop, like you like you kind of sandbag the water, and you feel your body try to pull your body. You're able to like just like hold on to like the edge here. I've got real strong legs. <laughs> <laughs> real strong legs. She, she hench. Hench. So Sato Satoshi just follows uh, you. Just make sure like you're okay. Uh. Hmm. Well, I wanted to go check this campfire out, but um. Can you see up the hallway yet, or is that just is it just a fire? Uh, no. It looks like a 
fire nook. I can see some stairs. I don't know if they just lead back into... Because it's pretty close to the other hallway. If they lead back into where we were. And it looks like there's a couple of those um, stinking birds. They hear that when you say that. And like, they just all just core at you aggressively. Does the middle finger exist in this world? Yeah. <laughs> can I flip the birds the bird? They do, and they all fly towards you. Great. Oh God. <laughs> and you just get a swarm of ravens just to attack you. Oh my no! god! My Polly! <laughs> As you... Every As they fly away, and <laughs> Satoshi just like drops keeping peaches in the <laughs> above the water, which scoops you up. Polly, <laughs> as you get knocked down to zero. My anger oh my issues. I get knocked down. <laughs> and the fire. My anger that... issues get the best of me. And the fire that was there goes out. <laughs> as Satoshi just. <laughs> as Satoshi just carries her towards you guys. <laughs> I will heal. He's got Polly. two babies now. <laughs> It's a good thing I'm small, so you can carry each in one arm. Mm. And just my passed out, pissed off corpse in the other. So Toshi's also going to pull out a healing potion. Healing up to nine hit points. You are back up to nine hit points, Polly. <laughs> Be careful, I, Satoshi just says, looking down at you as he... I stand up, and I'm like, worth it. <laughs> you are, like, just bleeding in many places. Monica's just gonna be like, you know when we started coming in here, and we all said we were gonna be careful? I don't remember. I just experienced I never a lot that. of, like, blunt force mm. trauma to my brain. I will never be the same. <laughs> Would you, yeah, you guys want to, if you want to keep moving, feel free. Okay. What's here? <laughs> All hail Polly, small of height and dumb of ass. <laughs> <laughs> that, that just looks like a dark abyss. I don't think that's really relevant to our... I'm, I feel like, I mean, this whole table but a dark abyss, so... <laughs> Satoshi There's looking... a light ahead of us! Satoshi looking down at Polly. Dead ass, Polly. Okay. Stop doing that shit, Polly. <laughs> I'm neither dead or the ass, as she's been carried. I wanna... <laughs> I wanna check out this way real quick. I don't wanna go too far in, but... Mm -hmm. It's just more okay, tunnels. Well, if you're doing that, then I'm gonna... I gotta come and help, cause... Well, I, I, I'm not gonna... I was just gonna... I was just taking a peek around the corner, alright? I'm just... I'm heading back well, towards the light Who knows now. what's around the corner? You never oh. know. Maybe a wolverine the last time... and attack you. A wolverine? You really live <laughs> a wolverine here. There could <laughs> you be think I can't... coming to random places sometimes. You think I can't handle a wolverine? Alright? <laughs> I don't think... Dude, a grizzly bear can barely handle a wolverine, man. I think that you'd have a hard time fighting a wolverine. Mom and dad are one fighting of again. Swamp, duck face. <laughs> And then suddenly <laughs> Wolverine's my one weakness. All oh, right, man. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Especially in the surprise attack from. Look, Polly just got dropped by some birds, okay? I'm just trying to say. <laughs> well, she's also the size of a bird. bird. She's the same height as a bird. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, you're shorter than a bear. So. <laughs> I'm a little bit taller than a bird, and that counts bit. for something. I'm just like, saying, I don't want to kill a finger. bear. I don't want to kill a bear. I don't want to kill no wolverine. As you if see, the wolverine was around that corner, I would nur nurse it back to hell. As you see, another campfire just flickering. Oh, oh look, God. a campfire. Not another one. <laughs> no, not forest fire. Cat has been playing oh, Dark Souls. Oh. Let's light the spawn fire and save here. Give me a Randall, second. watch out behind you. It's a wolverine. As you, hear, you do hear the birds just cawing that suck around this campfire. You shouldn't joke about that kind of thing, man. There could have been a wolverine there, and it could have actually dumb me. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'll take it back. You're right. Uh, can, can Randall, I'm gonna Rocky, roll me a d4, please. What's up? <laughs> as as you guys are walking, I will also note, um, Lo, when you're making your way through, you Garden stands next to you quite a bit uh, as you're walking, and then every now and then, when like you like, when uh. there, there is like not a burst of emotion, but like when like you are like. 
when there is like a bit of emotion showing, you just see Garden, uh, you feel Garden's hand pat your head. Oh. So when Polly dropped, Garden patted your head. When Randall <laughs> and Rocky were looking in the sarcophagi, Garden patted your head and then just looks down and smiles at you. <clears throat> yes. I, I mean, I'll smile back at Garden, but I'm wearing my mask. <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta say, I love everyone's faces right now after all right. the big dead fan and then just my smug expression. <laughs> Wolverine, <laughs> man. Tensions are high, I'm but you're vibing. Polly is on fire. So <laughs> mad. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so she's just following uh, around as well. Oh, she wants some the music. Sorry. Wah, wah. Who lit these fires? Oh, what did you, you roll with that D4, by the way? Like... Four? Wait, oh, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> Rocky, can you roll that D4 for me, please? Uh... And then tell me what you got. Uh... A three. A three. Interesting. I feel like like the dice are favoring three right now. Is three good? I don't Means Randall gets more pain. He's right. Why? Like she's right. <laughs> <laughs> it means Randall gets more pain. I picked up on that too. I'm not. Gonna... <laughs> it's just Randall's tra trauma simulator. What? Randall's trauma four. corridor. <laughs> Three oh. Wolverines crawl out of the fire. <laughs> when? When you fire Wolverines? Him. No. <laughs> I, I did lavender badges. I could do fire wolverines. I wouldn't. I wouldn't fucking be against it. Can I have a pet fire wolverine? We'll talk about this later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this. You see another set of shadows, uh, Randall. Uh, a set of four form, taking the shape of Moran, Kano, Taya, and Rocky. As a, as they all converge on you, a hidden shadow comes out of nowhere, leaping onto Kano. And Taya's shadow turns around and walks through Moran's shadow, causing Kano and Moran's shadows to both just disappear. And then I, I'm gonna pull my hat down so I can't even really see any of this. Everyone else will see it all happening though, as Rocky's shadow then turns to Taya and goes to slash at Taya's shadow, but then a smoky shadow forms and takes over the blade from Rocky, and now four shadows surround you the foreshadow something <laughs> no this is this is uh, pole shadows yeah oh, my bad. five shadows if you will actually i don't know about that literary device sorry it's okay i'll teach you about it later in english <laughs> you're english you are english yeah <laughs> all right there's so, two uh, lights pointing at this campfire uh uh yeah <clears throat> Maybe we want to go and pivot the one on the right? I assume so. We don't really want to go back left. Is left back this? Or is that just... I don't know. You got the map, Sam. Well, Randall uh... has the map, Sam. Uh... <laughs> oh, I totally have the map. Yeah. <laughs> it's on you, buddy. <laughs> I know, and it's just been, there's been a lot happening. There has been a lot happening. It's very Randall trauma focused. But yeah, the shadows just watch you hungry, wanting to come and just pour their malice into you. Alright, let's not let them do that then. <laughs> if you can't decide, flip a coin. Satoshi says. Also, Polly, you should uh, stay close. Uh, I am. How many, how many coins do you guys have on you? I have a card Didn't deck. Like glue. Polly's like, I've got 500. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I have a little bit of money. I yeah, guess. Can I start playing my goddamn hurdy gurdy that I've Oh, made God. So no. The shadows dance. Hurdy gurdy squared. You play hurdy gurdy squared? Shadow dance. Actually, I don't know if I want to do that because it might attract some big shadow demon or something like that. All right, well, there's other shadow things over there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I want to use another Eldritch. Like, I want to use my Eldritch Blast again. 
Just to kind of shoot towards where the shadow is to kind right. of block out. To rule to hit again, right? Yep. It is with advantage with low Nico's light. Awesome. Love These shadows you. struggle with the light they're going through, though. Um, that is a 16. 16 hit. That hits roll damage. Okay, that's 12 damage. That destroys it. It's a flash out. What color sky is it today? Watch it. Uh, I'll do another. Uh, actually, I'm going to do sunrise. I'll do so, like a sunrise. Or, yeah, 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 sunrise. Like As the, the entire. Orange and yeah. Pink, right? Yeah, orange, sunrise. You know, sunrise. Uh, yellowy orange. The blues. As the sun Makes is rising, like the um, the entire area just looks like that of a sunrise. As this one um, shadow that was here gets just destroyed by your beam of the sky. Start whistling a little tune. There's a lot of bones over there. There is a pile of bones. As this um, oh. mirrored uh, raven just blasts light in your face, Rocky. Yeah, <laughs> guys. <laughs> I walk out of the light beam. <laughs> is this, uh, is this, like, root here, like, too tall to, like, it will block it if I point it down? Yes. Give me a second, actually. Yeah, it does, it blocks it. And when you try to push it, actually, it can't go into this corner here. This corner, it can only go... Upwards. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, okay. Do we want to investigate the other one potentially, folks? Or mm. investigate the other light, the light beam? Yeah. Uh, yeah these ones, these shadows don't come anywhere closer. I don't know. I think I'm fine without it. There hasn't been a lot to see. Just, I mean, if we need to go back, like this, if this is a dead end, we can circle back. But I feel like, besides seeing more shadows, I don't think we're going to see much. Should we point it up then? Uh, yeah, let's point it up. Point it up then. Let's go. Watch it. Crank. <laughs> Crank that soldier boy. My favorite, uh, he's my favorite sorcerer. Of, uh... <laughs> Write that one down. Never heard of him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I heard Pretty about that one, Satoshi cool. says. Yeah, you get it. He's, a, he's from Mar Maron's flock. You probably don't know about him too much. <clears throat> Careful oh, is this, I think this is the tunnel we were at earlier, so I think. Yep, okay. Randall More now water. has a, a cannon fear of wolverines. Polly, be <laughs> cool. Be be cool, Polly. Do not <laughs> swim to the right or left or swim. Uh, Can, fine. I will also note, uh, Randall, roll me a deck save, please. Oh, dear God. And then... Randall dies. And then... Uh, <laughs> Randall, roll me a d4. Bush, Your Blair candle is still it. intact, Rocky. I mean, Randall. And then d4 for me, please. Oh, okay, thank God. I was gonna thank say. Thank God, I saw it, dude. What is, I don't know what the numbers mean. I don't know why. I, I, I do already, and I don't. And I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> this, these, the lights uh, from your dancing lights all converge on uh, Lo-Fi Boy this time, and this shows just Lo-Fi Boy's shadow tending a garden, as three other shadows, two adults and one child watching and then suddenly they all well two drop uh, like they fall over and the last one just kind of disappears oh. and now you have three shadows behind you it's fine I did not look down that corridor <laughs> which corridor one on the right oh I'm trying to do my left and right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if uh, you guys want to keep going. Okay. Splish splash, I was taken. <clears throat> Satoshi speeds up, noticing the three shadows behind him. 
There's an arrow right here pointing the opposite direction. That just means the stairs go down. Okay. Gotcha. How tall are the roofs in here? Are we like cramped or? No, no. The, this ceiling goes fucking high. You can't even see. It's a void upwards. So Polly's almost touching the roof then. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty tall. Like. <laughs> Checking for wolves. Not to intimidate anybody. I like get you and Peaches confused. I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> this would be the most okay. moment if Kaz had a goddamn Wolverine token prepared or something. Like I that. fucking so wish. Hilarious. You see the faintest of flickers of light and the cawing of ravens just around that bend. Ravens. Well, let's not go around that bend then. <laughs> Avoid our nice problems. Try. I like nice it. Let's try DM. <laughs> Polly just like sticks her hands in her pockets to avoid flipping anything off. Uh, in the world. Can I just say that the boys at the back are always in a light? I'm just. Yeah, no, I'm trying. They're following. They are behind you guys. They are sticking. I'm just very bad at keeping their tokens moving. There's a shadow. There's two, three shadows. Those three shadows are trying to chase you. But as soon as the light gets too narrow, they just get destroyed. Because they can't. Whoa. They can't physically stay in the space. Googling. We got good light here, folks. We got good light. You see a flickering firelight over here as well. Oh, God, I moved my... <clears throat> I want to go first. <laughs> I'm scared. I'll go first. Yeah, Rocky, Thanks, you're, you're Mr. Brave. <laughs> I can shoot light out of my hands, like out of the gun that I formed. Just look at you. I was gonna say, it's called the gun. <laughs> okay, so another uh, fire. Um, hey guys, how's it going? Don't mind me, just hanging out. Uh, I guess this is the only way we can go, is this way? Yeah, unless you want to fight some birds. Not really. <laughs> Good. I've hit my quota today. Yeah, the bird bird quota. Quota. The birds. <laughs> <laughs> before, before you, before you go any further, the birds look at uh. you, Lonely Co. And they all just caw in your general direction. Not in your general direction, at you. Um, Lonely Co, also roll me a D4, please. Um, and as they're calling at you, Old Otani's voice once again is heard <clears throat> as they turn to Randall. And you insult me by bringing a dragon here as well? I will tear you to shreds, child, for this disgusting insult to my existence you bring into my halls. We can find a way round. We'll be out of here soon. No. We just want to leave. You challenge me by bringing that dragon here. And now... <laughs> And they just fly away. <sighs> Randall? Yeah? Yeah? Um, I think you should also be careful. Uh, I've been trying my best, Lonico. Well, you see, um, old old time, he doesn't like dragons. And apparently... We've challenged him ah. by being here. Well, sir, if you don't want me in here, it would be great if you could point us towards the exit as quick as... What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> as you see a collapsed, broken down ACU just shattered on the ground as ravens just pick at it. You're not gonna get a lot of food out of that. It's not, it's not gonna be edible. <laughs> <laughs> and they turn to you. Oh no. Do I'm not you, edible either, I'm rocks. Do you fear this machine dragon? They core at you. What is, what, did, did we hear it? Yeah, no, they, this, this is thing? straight at you guys. Like the birds are calling at me, like yeah. saying that? Yeah. Well, do you, man? It's not a Wolverine, so you should be fine, right? <laughs> oh, man. Wolverines could probably take down an ACU unit. Like, they could take down a whole ACU squad. 
We do oh, an AC unit for breakfast. We can take out some crows. <laughs> then maybe we should bring some to you then, shall we? I do oh, fear these AC not... units. I, I'm not foolish, so... As for All you, right, go. go. There is no place on this island you can leave my gaze. I will destroy <laughs> you. I mean, I didn't intend to offend you in any way, and I really didn't bring that dragon. Oh, you thought just because the stars twinkle in your eyes, and you think you are some blessed child, and some lady with a fish hat can tell you that you deserve to be a shaman, you think that you just listen, you follow and listen, and just... <sighs> no, foolish. And then they just fly away. Okay. Dang, dude, that was unnecessarily harsh. Ravens are rude, bro. They're yeah, Lodi, really don't, don't listen to them. Don't, yeah, don't worry about them. They're I just want jealous. To, I want to investigate the broken down at ACU unit. Mm -hmm. Roll me an investigation, please. Absolutely not. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Uh, Can I, I didn't do advantage. 16. 16? Yeah, give me a second. Yeah, yes? Do, uh, sorry, if you want to do the investigation thing first. Yeah. As you're investigating and looking into it, you're just like trying to peek in, trying to see. It's just being torn apart and like it's broken by both like you guys, water damage, and also just like the, the birds pecking at it. But then it reaches up, trying to grab at you. And this arm just breaks and collapses, and just this blue liquid oozes out of it that just catches onto white fire. Blue liquid? Mm hmm. Okay. You said it catches the white fire? Yeah, it becomes white fire. Interesting. I want to... Does it have any weapons on it? It is just... It was dragging along its um, glaive. Or well, Naginata, sorry. Um, can I take it? Yeah. Give yourself okay. a glaive and then I'll um, make it a Naginata for you. Yes, Randall? Glaive. This... Does this look familiar to me? Roll history with advantage. <laughs> if you remember, like you, you yeah, remember. Like, you, yeah, like yeah. I don't know a hundred percent, but like the flow of this hallway feels r r like I remember it. Yeah, you remember this hallway. Uh, where the hell is history? Oh, so it's okay. Yeah, like I, I do just remember it, or or should I still? Yeah, you don't history? need to roll. Like I, that was a stupid okay. of me to even ask. Uh so folks. I don't want to alarm you, but me and Lo-Fi Boy, on our first run through this place, we were here at one point. Oh. So we're just going in a circle, kind of. So we should find another direction? There might... Hold, hold on, let me consult my crappily made map for one second. <laughs> I'm one of you there... says, I don't mean to concern you. I get a little more concerned. As Randall that's, is doing that's that. That's probably fair, Chloe. Yeah. Your lights circle around you, uh, Loniko. Creating two shadows of a similar build to Kano and Moran, but human. That are just following you as you guys are walking through the corridors. But then when, at a certain point, they stop following you. And then you just hear old Atani's voice mimicking... Um, your parents. Come, Loniko. Old Otani seeks an audience with you. Come. She's just gonna, like, cover her ears with her hands and just, like, crouch on the floor while Randall's trying to find his map. <laughs> also, hear that. We didn't end up going down this area where the fire is. And then there also is another direction further on. But I, I, if I'm being honest, I can't see how it wouldn't just loop back to places that we might have already been. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay, Lo Nico? I'll be okay, Polly. I'll be okay. As you go you towards. Need a hug. Sorry, go. 
Do you need a hug? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> as you ask if she needs a hug, uh, Rocking Randall, as you go towards that room, it just erupts into fire. Oh. Alright, well, not that way. <laughs> Holy As you just see oh. these birds of fire just <laughs> swirling around and circling, filling that room. Birds on fire. Not birds on fire, birds made of fire. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah, she's like burning no. rage. I was like, oh, they're just cooking. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to head this way. I mean, I'm like, he's down, I guess. Oh, Ooh, okay, good. yep, get away. That's from you. What? Get away from this? No, 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 sorry, the fire room. <laughs> Oh, oh okay. wow, 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 wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wowie. Can we this, turn this on? Is it emitting a light? Yeah, it's emitting it a light. It is not emitting a light. How do I make it emit a light? <laughs> Perhaps we need to find the source? You try, like, like even like, like your low Nico's fire doesn't seem to create a beam of light for these. There's another oh, one this way. I, I, I remember from the original uh, run through. Is it emitting a Are light? We We'd have to find the source light. Oh boy, howdy, this whole temple. Okay, well, I want to go ahead and turn this towards the other crow, or the other uh, statue. Mm-hmm. Um, it does turn. And then I want to turn the this statue down. Down? Down. down. Well, we just came from up, so I want to turn it down to see what's it going on down here. doesn't seem to be anything down. Okay, then I turn, I turn it up. I'll keep it up, sure. I turn it up. Was there... Crank that <laughs> shit. <laughs> So like the soldier boy. Boy. Also, exactly Lonico, his, Lonico would take Polly's hand uh, as they walk. I <laughs> am in the void. Um, there you please are. help. Is that better? Uh, I am still in a void. How about what are you here? How's that? Let me do this. I'd... Oh, you might have reset your game, that's why. Uh, oh! There I'm here. <laughs> you were just looking in the wrong corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Polly was just like off in her own little world. Lonely Coco I, helping. I think that there's the source light over here. It might give us some aid. Over here, but even if it was oh. over here, how are we going to get the point to that one? There's too many well, there's got to be right. other like mirrors that reflect or something. Well, maybe this one down. Okay. There's this light right here, which maybe this one goes up. Are we back to where we were before? Oh, wait, wait, so hold on. I have an idea. I have an idea. Trust me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just kind of speed run going up real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, shoot. <laughs> uh, I, I, I ran out of ideas. <laughs> What'd you find? What'd you find? A whole lot of nothing. Just a wall. <laughs> okay, we're going. To speed run and going down. A whole lot of nothing. Back. Just a wall. I'm, I'm whole decking lot of back nothing. down here. We didn't. I'm yelling down the hallway at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Your voice all, all echoes. Crap. Actually, Gone. you know, yeah. We what, what you should... left here, did we? Anybody got a big string? When you say, when you shout that, your voice echoes through all the chambers. And, but then you hear old Otani's voice echo back. No, go right. Maybe backwards. I think you should start climbing. Flip it in Just reverse echoing it. from all the different corridors around you. Not helping. Flip it and reverse it. Where, where do you guys want to go? I want to go home. I want to get home out too. of this temple. <laughs> so this light doesn't go anywhere. So this source... I, Unless there's a statue, we can't. Or the statues never seemed like movable, did they? Like we couldn't like no, you scoot couldn't them up. anywhere. Yeah, you couldn't pick them up. Okay. Maybe we should go back down that way and see if there's a light source that points up. Okay. Do I have Good a mirror idea. on me? Can I, do... I just went this way, and there's nothing down here except for down, down there is where we came from, isn't it? Yeah, and it's that one light, and then there's a light pointing to this light that we're looking at now, and that's it. I don't really know what else to do. Lo Nico, you're scaring me alone here at the end of the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, don't so know when Wolverines could just jump out. Satoshi <laughs> and Lo Lo Fly Boy come out. Actually, Satoshi would stick with Polly just in case. But... Polly's lost because her computer's lagging. It's okay. <laughs> Where did everybody go? Oh, <laughs> there's a big... Rocky? There's a big room down here. While you are yeah. there, Rocky. Oh. 
Oh, Rocky. Where the fuck is Rocky? <laughs> Where is Rocky? I don't know. Hey guys. <laughs> don't worry about me, guys. I'm good. What am I doing? Now what's happening? You see... Staying in the light. Staying in the light. Good. Yeah. Oh, he's all the way down there. Jesus Christ. As you say, you see these shadows trying to put <laughs> these shadows trying to push through. I so flip they, them off. So they move away. And a few seconds pass, and you just see them coming around the corner behind around you. From oh this corner. Oh my God, Rocky. I'm gonna do an Elder's blast. I mean, <laughs> go ahead. You can shoot. If I if I if I could shoot light beams towards the the. <laughs> Freaking! How do I? No, that's not my. No, How not are you me. where you are? <laughs> oh <my God>. Sorry, <laughs> not to ask that question, but like, holy crap! You miss Rocky, and the Rocky, shadows all go around the tree to hide. And you, Yo. you just hear them whisper in older times, voice, "Come round here, come! You can shoot us from here." Oh my God, Rocky! I swear to God. You're gonna die, bro. I swear I to make, all that is fucking. Can I holy. make an <laughs> can I make an intelligence check? To see, you or can. some type of insight to see their vibe. Actually, you know what? What do you mean, see no. their vibe? <laughs> their vibe maybe is they're steal your soul. Maybe they're cool. All right. I <laughs> tried that. Why are both I gotta, of you I an no brain cell? <laughs> <laughs> Rocky's intelligence is negative one, and his wisdom Mom and is negative Dad, one. Mom and Dad are either fighting or have no words. So, as you see that, you I'm see Lone Nico, Randall, and Lo-Fi Boy, and Satoshi and Polly come around the corner. Where are they? What the? Down here. Where are y'all over there here? There I am. And as you step out, these three shadows get you. Oh no! <laughs> I am lost. I got an 18 on insight, and that's what I get in return. <laughs> <laughs> what were you trying to insight? I was trying to see what the vibe was. Like, they, they they're, try, they're trying to grab you. Okay, well that was my insight check, and you didn't tell me. <laughs> All you said is that oh my Lonico is there, and I got a good insight. So I have no reason to think that that's that. No, see exactly. Why am I down here? Two different things happened because like you inside those two shadows, you knew they wanted to nab you. But then three, uh, then Lonico and Randall and Lofi Boy and Polly and uh, Satoshi would have come around the corner. But then as soon as you left the light, they would have disappeared. And you got nabbed by the, the sh these shadows. Okay, well, Rocky died, guys. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you guys are. I'm going to go up to you guys nice. in a second. <laughs> what the fuck is Rocky? <laughs> As Rocky, you have been nabbed, but you can't enter the light again. I can't enter the light? No, you can. You can. Okay, I'm going to enter the light. <laughs> I'm hanging out in the light. <laughs> uh, can I? I'm going to do another Elder's Blast. Can I? Can I? You can. You can hear Rocky's voice coming down from this corridor, Lonico. Watch it out. Freaking 12. <laughs> that hits. Okay, cool. Perfect. I'm going to do a, a nice, uh, nice sunrise. Uh, that's, uh, what, 16. You destroy one. In just the, an eruption of light, you guys all just see this light, uh, shining through every corridor. Even the ones, like, um, actually, no, you guys don't see it, sorry. You just see the light shine through this corridor. As, um... What? I want to head uh, back. As Rocky <laughs> blasts him with Eldritch Blast. Yeah. They, they're trying to chase you, but this one beam blocks them. I want to head back. <laughs> Heading back. <laughs> Going home. Go home. Everything go okay bed. there, buddy? Go home, go bed. Go home, go bed. <laughs> Didn't work out too well. I thought I saw y'all. It wasn't y'all. Really? Anyway. Yeah. Well, that's actually kind of horrifying. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it, was, it was absolutely terrifying. I got, I got, then I got like bit, jump. You get a little bit of of, of leeway for that for sure. Okay, Please, well. can we stick together, guys? Everyone, hold hands. I Keep got a weird germ lost. on me now, apparently. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Rocky, hold my hand. Lo-Fi Boy, hold the other. And okay. Then... Who's the lion reader, leader today? Lonico? <laughs> yeah, I guess. As you guys just see... <laughs> hey. the... What the Hulo fuck? Nikos. See, see what I mean? 
Can I shoot a fireball at it? You can. Whoa, okay, well, well hold up. I'm going to slow your hand because I don't know if you're the real Lonico. No, I'm shoot, already just, doing it. It shoots a I'm fireball just, back at you, Lonico. Just, just a... <laughs> can you roll two fireballs? The first is yours, the second is going to be it. Oh. I am so pissed. <laughs> This. Both of you, like your fire, your fireball just explodes in your hand, but it happens to just catch the other fireball and like block, and they just consume one another. And in that flash of light, the other lone has gone. Well, well, how do I know if that's the real lone now? She's just like, what do you mean? <laughs> Her like hands are like little balls, and she's like, oh. I don't know what to trust now. If I'm being honest, now that I'm knowing that they're doubles, and we've all split up at one point, so who knows who could be who? Boogly boogly. Good. <laughs> okay, so now we. Now what should we do? I don't even know where to, what to do. I... Down to the, to the right, to the right, this way. Come from here. And then, and then let's go down. We came from this way the first time originally. If you look to your left, or actually, depending on the orientation, if you look to your right, uh, you'll find a fossilized skeleton snake. It's really cool. Woo! Ooh. Almost Here's makes it worth it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys just see that. <laughs> Tall <Almost>. guy Randall. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one with it the was, map. It was, I, I drew it on the map and everything. It you was a, a cool note. Yeah. You see this one ACU just just destroyed into pieces just on the ground there. As a set of shadows form once more. Spotlighting oh. on Lo-Fi Boy. That shows a shadow being consumed by vines and plants as it just crushes them. And that shadow leaves just one shadow behind that is trailing after you guys as you cross the river. It's not trailing after you guys, sorry, it's right in this corner. I mean, actually, hold on one moment. I'm gonna just pop out here for a second, because maybe I missed something the first time. No, this is just a little grove. Never mind, okay. Thought maybe there was an exit, but... <laughs> we are not that lucky. We came, we came from this way. The shadow just tries to come around, mm -hmm. and like, as soon as like all the light just shines in on it, it can't do nothing. It just just pushes itself into the wall, and then just explodes. Hey, why is Rocky diseased? You gave it to me, man. Got a cold. Sorry, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you gave it to me, man. It's contagious. Yeah. Sorry, bless you. Two, bless you. <laughs> The water is making me get a cold, yeah. Oh, lonely cold. Splash, I was taking a bite. No. <laughs> Satoshi says, as soon as like the light is just like washes over you for a second. Your hit points have disappeared for me. Mm, mine's say 58 out of 58, even though I know that's That means not she's true. not the real Nico. The other one didn't have a health bar. I don't know what that means, Randall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's a health bar? <laughs> <laughs> With you, when you get to my level of intelligence, you start to see above everyone's head just about how much they can have. Like that's. Well, everybody sees above my head. I'm short. <laughs> Polly, we're Actually, Polly. Go. Oh, you're the one that I can't see, and that makes you pretty suspicious too. Don't be suspicious. Don't be. <laughs> don't be suspicious. Don't think I don't forget. Or, wait. Yeah, you got this. <laughs> you can do it, buddy. I'm not forgetting about your alliance with that watermelon guy, okay? So, you had an alliance I don't with know if I'd call it an, an alliance, more as a, a please don't kill me, Mr. Watermelon Man. <laughs> I don't know that right. That's what alliances are nowadays. They, huh? You kids and your alliance. What? Sorry, I just got <laughs> <sorry. laughs> Yeah. Yes, man. You good? Okay, another statue. That's, oh, hey, no. As you see, oh, Randall. Randall, guys, you can Randall, tell stay me. near me. I'm right. I'm holding Rocky's hand right now. No, you can tell <laughs> it to me, Randall. <laughs> Hello. I'm gonna cast an Eldritch Blast at that Randall. I don't care. I'm casting it. 
shoot it, it's gonna dash at you and slash. Shut oh your mouth. What do I get to shoot it first though? Yeah, you get to shoot it first, but it will go to uh, attack you. If uh, Randall, could you roll hit. me a short sword attack? I will do that immediately. Seventeen hits. Seventeen hits. Hit. It hits. That's th thirteen damage. And that hits roll and damage. Nineteen. Roll damage for me on that one. You take seven piercing damage as the fake Randall slashes at you, but then turns into smoke as your Eldritch Blast just explodes and just shoots a beam of light through it. Ow! And you see, like, a clutch. As, like, it, before it even explodes, actually, it clutches at the hole you blast in it and just looks at you, Rocky. Rocky. I'm really glad that wasn't we're, somehow you. We your brother, they say, and explodes into just smoke. The Randall I know wouldn't explode into smoke, all right? Okay, let's continue. So we got this As statue that's pointing up. Necrotic breath. What do you say, sir? Okay, that's the... As I have the smoky necrotic breath. Nico just gets more and more pissed every time a new <laughs> replica or someone appears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she is like a stomping teenager right now. <laughs> Lonico, light steps. I'm She's gonna kill him. Okay, now I know. Okay. It's all kind of coming together now a little bit. Um, You're going in circles. Well, I think I think the beam should be nearby. That one's pointing up to the next beam. We'll find a beam this direction. It'll point to that beam. We'll get another beam. A, there, there was the other beam that was to the left the of this fire. Did we ever go that way? The light near me? I don't know. I don't know why. There we go. Uh, what did you say? There was. Oh, well, maybe I guess it might be down this hallway as well. Well, I mean, I'm just thinking that if we can continue straight this way, there will be a beam that's pointing towards that other statue. At least my that's my hope. And then if that beam doesn't have a light to it yet, then we'll have to go search where that light leads. You know? Yep. Here we go. We have this. <laughs> <laughs> and now we go up. <laughs> Yeah, okay, oh, okay. Yeah, this is starting to make sense. We're gonna have to bend this one down. Oh, we've done it, folks. Oh, man, we did it. <clears throat> Holy. We're it down. Yeah, we're bending it down. Well, so, I'll step out of the way. I'll step out of the way. Yeah. The, ca the campfire lights it up. When you get in, like, in between them, when, like, they, like, create lights like that, it doesn't, like, it passes through you. It's only, like, a shadow is behind you. It can't destroy the shadow. But that beam of light just shines through, and even with the trees, it's able to just push through and then light a path. We done it. Okay, now what? Now we go to the end of it. I yeah, guess. I guess so. We follow we it back, speed, folks. Can we speed walk it at all? Or I'm gonna just hang on the light. Step into the light. I accidentally grouped two of my lights. Oh, and, oh, gonna... and myself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you try and group them. How do I do this? I don't know. Like this. Try now. Yay. There you are. I don't know if you kissed me just then, sorry. I, was, <laughs> I know you got... Sorry. <laughs> okay, before, before I move any further, I'd like help. Y yeah. Like help? What's up? Where is Randall? Where is Randall? <laughs> Randall? You see God I don't know how and I... coming down. And then just hmm? look at you. You're, yeah, the buddy, there's no way you got ahead of us so that, that quickly, so I know you. Okay, back it up, dude! Randall, where are you? They just stand there. Where did you guys go? It. What do you mean, where did I go? We went forward! But you went f I, I went <laughs> the way we're supposed to be going, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Oh, well, you're just a long way. way. I'm running you're just back. a running. long way up. There. I'm running! <laughs> we're following the light, Randall. Randall, Randall. Following the Randall, light, that's what Randall. I did. You guys are gone suddenly. Randall, Jeez. leave the light. You hear a voice say. Randall, you were just a Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Who the hell? I don't know who to trust. It's no, me, it's Randall. It's, it's it's me, Randall. Okay. Just, where did we meet? That's an easy question. In prison. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> wait, you guys were in prison? Yeah, we have matching prison tattoos. We don't. I lied about that. Oh. We should have got okay. some, though. Garden just looks... They just look at each other. <laughs> and they just start mimicking one another as if a mirror. 
I want to cast Eldritch Blast towards this one. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Go ahead. So far, this is looking pretty good, because I know that that other one... That's 22 good. to hit, I assume that, that hits. hits. Then that's going to be 18 damage. 18 damage. I mean, if I play Khan is actually top right now, so... <laughs> it just... You... Bla what color? What color sky? Uh, right uh, I'm gonna still do the sunrise. I'm gonna keep it a sunrise <clears throat> right now. As Good. the sunrise just shoots through uh, garden, you just see the vines break off and fall off and collapse, and you can see garden on the side looks sad when that happens. Aww. And garden on the other side also looks sad as they are oh, just no. falling and just you hear the sound of metal clanking as it hits the ground. But then picks itself oh. back up. What? Uh, huh? Mm. I, I, so sorry. I thought. Can I firebolt it? You can, as this garden turns to you, Rocky, for a second. I thought you were. Are you the bad garden? <laughs> and then the other one are just you... explodes into smoke. Okay, oh, thank God. God. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> I literally thought you were doing an elaborate trick that this whole group was fake for a second. I, I <laughs> genuinely believe that. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm spooked. Like, this is a better thing thing than I'm gonna do when I do a thing thing. Lonely feels just like, I don't care if all the Tani's are god. They're pity and they're mean. Do be Heck like yeah. I agree. Tiny rage, fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. Stay, all everybody stay together. Everybody stay together. Keep going up here. Just a, a Wolverine PNG up here or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Got like a watermark over it. But you have to like checkerboard background. It's not even like perfectly translucent. <laughs> Randall, don't go too fast. Randall, wait. That, Randall. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> That room is still like crazy on fire, or what's the situation? Yeah, that one's still crazy on fire. Okay. That room is on fire. Where are we it's going? It's crazy on fire. Okay, then this just goes to like the nothingness. Are we still following the light? Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, well, yeah, this is this goes nowhere, huh? Sorry, so Lo Fi Boy and all Satoshi of our work followed you. Was for nothing. <laughs> Maybe we have to light. All of these things? All of what thing? Like, is there another section these of them? Are they? There, there have been a lot, Rocky, admittedly. I thought that we'd maybe found the solution, but. This but thing doesn't turn down, does it? The first candle we found. What was on the other side? Guys, I see myself. <laughs> Guys, I see oh myself. My God. <laughs> I cast Eldritch Blast. I cast Eldritch Blast. Roll two Eldritch Blast, please. Okay, that's that's his mine. That's okay, his. Well, that's Rocky, that was his. I, 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 I lied. That was his. Rocky. <laughs> no. Hi. <laughs> Bang! The night okay, sky I'm... shoots straight into you oh. and passes oh. through you, and oh. it like as it pushes through you, low, you feel the night sky just wash over you. As a uh, Rocky, you collapse to the ground. I do. Yeah, you collapse to the ground. As uh, the other uh, hits you, I do. Uh, and then the other one collapses, and then picks itself back up, and then bows. Uh, I pick Fireball. myself back up, I guess, before you even do anything. Oh, gosh, I don't feel. I'm not doing too high right now. I gotta be honest with you. I'm not doing too it's high. Okay, buddy. Good, I'm yeah. gonna actually, while I can, I'm gonna go ahead and use my second win and just get some HP back. It just okay, lets uh, me regain uh, hit points, one uh, d ten worth of hit points, plus my fire level. Sorry. Okay, cast. Uh, so that sorry. I'm gonna use my my second win to gain one d ten plus my fire level worth of HP back. Yeah, yeah, you, you can get the fire the fire level back. I'm not too Is there a way? I mean, I know this place is really spooky, but could we like camp or 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 something, um, by one of the the fireplaces? That's fourteen back. Lovely. That, that was a nice. That was a hefty bit. What'd you say? Sorry, Polly. 
Uh, like, this place is real spooky, and I know nobody really wants to sit still, but I think it might be a good idea to take a rest somewhere, if we can find somewhere safe. There is that spot that, like, leads out of the temple a little bit, and we could, if, I, I, I don't feel like I want to sleep in here, if I'm being honest. This place feels like it would manipulate us in our sleeps. Go to the fire room. I mean, he, I'll toast feel that you safe. in there. It's literally like crow. Oh, never mind. That's the fire room. Sorry, never mind. <laughs> when you suggest resting, though, the fire does just diminish. What? What? Oh. In the big room. Oh, Tani! In the big room? In the big room. I'm not going in there. That's that's like the if... fire room. Can I squeeze through this? <laughs> you can squeeze through. It's, it's a bit of a. It does scratch with some of your stones, but you are able to get through. Uh, should I do it? I want to throw a rock in there first. Go ahead. I I do that. Uh, <laughs> does it light up in flames? Anything happen? It doesn't. As you throw a rock in there, the fire just bursts and cackles. Cackles? Like yeah, laughter? Like, yeah, like you know when uh, fires spark and like like logs burst, and like uh, yeah. That's the noise it makes, but then you can hear a faint laughter behind it. Don't you trust I me? I don't like that. Old Altani controls everything in this temple. Okay, it is mine. I'm not going in there. I feel like in, that's the way to go, but I don't like it. We in get it, temple. dude. It's yours. <laughs> Let us out. No. What? Sleep. What? Or I can knock you out and put you to sleep like that. What does this sleep? Let's not sleep, everybody. That's, mm. Yeah, immediately that is... Not Man. There's, there's something coming. There's, there's something coming from the hallway. Hmm? No! No, Jesus. <laughs> God damn people! What happened? What? I think I'm seeing the, the fire or something moving up the hallway, and I just... Oh. I got tripped. I got scared. I'm sorry. You <laughs> got spooked. <laughs> Zipped I'm across sorry, the buddy. map towards me. So we didn't end up going going left though, from here, did we? I don't think we did. Satoshi says. So maybe there's another, like, block to turn in this direction. Somehow, I don't know, but we have to exhaust all of our options. It looks like. You are the one with the map. Where is my fire? Uh, I have got a little bit of a map. Let's say <laughs> I have probably got twelve percent of a map of this place. Well, not a high percentage. This is a dark and creepy room. Holy. I am losing track of where I'm playing things. That's alright. Um, I've got, like, I, I can move them along with you guys. You guys kind of move into a group. This room looks kind of important. Like,. Can I gleam anything from this room, like... What do you mean, sir? Like, uh, is this, like, a significant room in any fashion? Like, are these pillars, do they have anything on them? Or you anything? can try to, like, uh, insert a history check or something, if you want, yeah. As you guys also see, like, an opening that leads out into, like... Like, you f the fresh air. It's surprising how, like, oh. stifling it is in here. It's like, it kind of... Like, you, as soon as you step out, you know, it's like... It smells a lot like an aviary inside. And very stuffy, and just, like, hot. But as soon as you step out, you get that cold, salty breeze of the uh, the ocean nearby, and just the earthy uh, musk of the forest. But with the and with your history check, you don't really like this, other than like the fact that like it, this is just ancient, and like the um, you can almost like with your like like the history doesn't even like with like the actual history of the place. It's just the history of you guys being in here and knowing the tricks that are being placed on you. You can imagine these pillars are just there just to try to create as many shadows as possible. To have something to hide behind, if it wanted to kill you. This is truly nefarious. It's a dick move. <laughs> yeah, you, you like see this, this opening one. that just oozes fresh air. Fresh air, but can we trust it? As soon as you step out, you feel oh, no. you can breathe once again. It's strange how uh, being inside it feels like hours have passed within 
But like the sky doesn't look any different from the morning um, from earlier. But it feels like Wait, hours. Did we make it out, or is this like a courtyard? Do we still feel the power of Otani here, people? Like, let's think you can about roll it. insight for me. I'm gonna put your dancing lights on the outside, uh, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Um, cause you'll be fine with them. Nat twenty. Nat twenty. You feel free and safe here. Whatever is trying to get you cannot leave. Can, is like the threshold block stops it. If you're, if you guys are wanting to rest, this place seems as good as any to rest. I am down to rest. I feel at ease from Otani's grasp here. Yeah, I think it's nap time. You guys are more than welcome, yeah. Uh, Satoshi and then I'll come out as well. You guys getting into the corner, starting a fire, and Satoshi just starts pulling out a few rations and just tries to quickly prepare like a quick breakfast for you guys, because you guys must be exhausted. Emotionally exhausted, more so. Mm -hmm. And anything you guys want to do? Um, are you taking long rest or short rest? Sorry. I mean, I don't need to take a crazy rest, so I mean, I'm down for just a shorty. But I think a lot of your guys' situations are more so needed for a long, right? I would take. A, I would rather take a long. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And there's also Lonika, like would do song of rest as well, and she just starts playing her shamisen and bringing more ease over everything. I will say there is still a slight edge to the air. But you feel. Well, safe. I'm always keeping my eyes on this like entrance way over here for sure. Like mm -hmm. I'm si sitting on this rock way. Yeah. You can all uh, press long rest. Bingo. Go. My mm -hmm. armor clash should be thirteen again. It was nice while it lasted. Um, was anyone on watch, by the way, last night? Uh, I mean, if I, I'll, I'll take watch for sure. Alright, yeah, you Would can you take... Like roll perception? Yeah, you can take first watch on perception for me. That is a 24. And anyone else want to take the second watch? I could take watch. Okay. Yeah, cool. And if Polly, if you want to roll perception for me? Uh, yes, I can, as soon as I find it, no, which I am very capable of doing. Yeah, it, it is in your skill section. Excellent. 14. Perfect. Well, Randall, on your watch, you keep it, you are watching this, and you see shadows constantly <laughs> rushing by, trying to call you to get in, and you can see it's various people that you recognize in your past just calling you in trying to gain your attention. Barnabas, uh, Moran and Kano. Even like your pipe members with you now, they're calling you and your old crewmates. And then even some strange, just distorted creatures just trying to mimic something that will try and entice you to come in. How do you react to them all? It's like this happens for hours. Like it doesn't relent. Sometimes uh, tempts Randall for sure. Like there are maybe even moments where he hears someone and even quickly stands up, mm. almost willing to rush to their aid. But before he ever gets to like the precipice of the darkness, he would probably be like, "No, it's not them. It's not them." The dancing lights would also be down. Um, and Polly, on your rest, nothing seems to happen. Nothing. Out of the ordinary, nothing strange, other than like the few creatures trying to beckon you in as well. Mm -hmm. um, but when you all wake up after your uh, eight hours of rest, you wake up around. Give me some let me check the time. At four p.m. same day. Polly's gone, and we're gonna end the session there. Oh. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I hate that. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Uh, oh my god. What the fuck? Okay, see ya. Bye, All right, everyone. Polly. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> Randall's also gone. 
I'm emotionally devastated after today and then that <laughs> happened at the literal Ooh baby. Okay. Uh, Alright then. I what play. a roller coaster. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. Like I, need a nap after that. <laughs> I forgot how emotionally devastating uh, like a Kaz D D session is, like Good God man. <laughs> I am very satisfied. I'm glad you guys feel emotionally devastated. I hope you guys had a fun time getting back into things. The best time. Um. <sighs> <laughs> Just the despair in your voice. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I, whenever I play D&D &D, uh, like with Kaz, I feel like I've genuinely gone through the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> You've aged 12 years. It do be like that. But we're going to end the session there. Thank you, everyone, that's been here for uh, the return of Throne Top Sands. If you've been lurking, watching the VOD, been here from the, just the first hour and then left after that, thank you for being here. Thank you for giving us your time. I hope you've enjoyed this session. It has been an absolute blast. Uh, we're going to shout everyone out before we leave. And um, I'm just going to shout out our sponsors again. First is Dicerod.uk. Uh, if you are interested in picking up some um, some neat little dice or TTRPG accessories, you can grab them from diceroll.uk slash casadm. Grab some gemstone dice, metal dice, resin dice, or acrylic dice. They also have various um, other services like engraving, which is pretty cool. And uh, if you use that link, you support the stream. And um, what's the word? If you grab some dice from the show, the, they do some cool dice. And I want to see them. They, they genuinely have some amazing dice and stuff. I've, given like sam and uh, aj and um sam east some dice from them and like sam east has bought me a few dice from them and they're all stunning i yeah grab some dice from them uh another shout out my kofi page it's um the homebrew because the ogl situation we're not sure uh what i'm going to be doing with that but you can grab my tokens there i need to upload my cappers and a few other things um but if you want to grab some tokens, you can grab them from there. And there's also a uh, neat little Shrey Leol, or if you, it's £2 a pledge. Um, and you can grab everything that's on there. Uh, Token Tuesday tokens, whenever they're made, are free also. If you want to grab them, you can grab them there. Um, there's Georgia Marjorie. Uh, Georgia will talk about her stuff. I just pulled out my earphones. Give me a second, please. I can't hear anything. Um... <laughs> They, they could, they could, I don't think they could hear you when that happened as well. Speak? Oh, nice. Hello. Give me a second, sorry. It's doing the thing. No, it's not. Is it? No, it's not. The only sorry. thing I was going to say when they couldn't hear, when Cass couldn't hear me was that I loved him. I love you too, Sam. But yeah, uh, Georgia will shout her stuff out when uh, it's her time, but go check her stuff out. I love her. She does stunning uh, stuff and makes really cool things. Um, buy all her jewelry. Because if you don't, I will. Um... And then you won't get any. It's just, it's just. Even though I don't have any money, but like, don't worry about it. It's, we don't, we don't need, we don't need stress about it. It's still muffled right now, Kaz. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, okay. <laughs> where am I? Um, what was I gonna say? Mm. Uh, George Marjorie. Um, there's the blah blah uh, dice roll. Um, my coffee. What other things do we have? Oh yeah, Discord. Uh, we do a bunch of cool D and D community stuff and art stuff. Check the Discord. Out. There's a bunch of cool people like these folks here. Um, and now I'm gonna pass it over to them. Um, Lucy, uh, player of Polly, you wanna show yourself? Hi. Out? Hello, I'm Lucy. I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Lucille. Um, I just started a series where chat decides what I write. Uh, and it's very exciting and a lot of fun. So you can catch that over there. Uh, as well, uh, I have a podcast with uh, Remove Sam, who has been featured on one of Kaz's lovely D&D streams before. It's called We're So Fucking Sorry. And it's not about anything in particular. I just ripped my headphones out doing wild hand gestures. Exactly the same thing as me. Neat. Besties. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Slay. A vibe twins anyways um so if you guys want to listen to that you can uh or if you don't want to you don't have to have a beautiful day you should you should go listen to it it's really funny um next georgia my love Do hello 
Um, I do Georgia Mod Jewelry. I have a few D&D ones. Um, I have a little sleeping dragon that's kind of cute. Um, but if you'd like to support me or follow my stuff, see what I'm up to, uh, I am on Instagram and Etsy. Um, I also do art sometimes under Lime Green Artist on Instagram, mostly. Um, sometimes I draw D&D stuff. But yes. Next up, Piper. Sorry, Piper. Uh, hey, it's me. Uh, it's Piper. Um, I, I I do a bunch of different various things. Um, YouTube. I'm pretty active on there, uh, where I do different types of videos. Um, but a large amount of like commentary type stuff. Um, I also, uh, more importantly, I don't know if it's on my link tree. It should be, hopefully. Uh, it is not, so but I do. Have, no, it is. Okay. Uh, I, I am. I am working on making a card game, um, slash working on promoting it to fundraise it through Kickstarter. Hopefully by the end of this year. Uh, it is a fun kind of quirky strategy game where you play as a goblin and you collect trash to um, build gifts for the all uh, all amazing uh, Goblin King. Uh, it's called All Hail the Goblin King. And I think it's a lot of fun, but I am biased, but other people think it's fun too. That's it. Sorry, the music. Could you shut yourself out again? I may have had the noise too loud, sorry. Sure, happily. Uh, I do, uh, hey, it's me, Piper. I do uh, YouTube, uh, which is through the link tree. You can find the link there. Uh, I do a lot of different types of videos, but uh, uh, most of my videos so far are commentary type videos, uh, stuff of that nature. Um, I also am working on making slash funding a card game that I've made called All Hail the Goblin King, a game where you play as a quirky little goblin um, and you collect trash to build gifts for the Goblin King. Um, and if so if you like card games uh, and you want to help support a new one, uh, please go follow the Instagram. Also in the link tree. <laughs> and, ah, oh, fuck, wrong person. And finally, shout out, uh, Sam, shout yourself out, shout out McClunky. Yo, I'm Sam. I'm from McClunky Squadron. Over there, we do D&D &D on Fridays, although that's going to be a little bit less frequent now mm -hmm. because I work. But other than that, we do like talk shows on new TV shows that are nerdy. Uh, the one we're going to be doing next is The Last of Us, which is coming out tonight. So get on that and get excited for some clicker talk. Hmm. Um, yeah. Uh, that's that. The next session of Thorn Top Sands is either scheduled for the 29th of January. If I can do, I will. Really? Begin. Maybe. That's oh, shit! Birthday. Yeah! Happy I don't know if I'm, I might not yeah, be able to make that one. We might, be, we might push it to the 22nd then. We'll see what's up. We'll see, we'll see what we're doing. Um, but we'll... I mean, I wouldn't mind pushing it to the 22nd, personally. Uh, but we'll see what's up. Uh, we'll let you know in the Discord. Um, I'm going to shout out McClunky Squadron one more time before we go into a raid, if it lets me... No, it doesn't. But check that link out. Um, if you've enjoyed the stream, uh, catch me next time on Thursday. I'll be streaming um, some art. Or maybe some homebrew. I'll be Maybe some stuff that I'm planning on uh, throwing at the party next session. Who knows? Find out uh, on Tuesday, 8pm GMT, uh, 3pm EST, or 12pm PST. And my schedule for work is a bit weird, so like it's I'm, I'm not as uh, active or regular as I normally would be, or tried to be before like November and December. Um... But we'll see what's up. Thank you for being here. You're all stars. And I shall hopefully see you on the next stream. But if not, I hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Bye. 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 Bye.
私は本屋で時を止め背拍子に書く